All right, peace of Christ to all of you guys and everybody listening to us and uh, a special love for my big family who they wait for me always. Uh, we pray first that the Lord might open the eyes of those who they are listening and those who they are looking for the truth. And the Lord, he said in his book, peace for those who love peace and no peace for the evil one. So we pray that the Lord, he will keep the evil one away from us and to bring us, even from Muslims, the ones who like and love to have peace. Peace is very important for us in our life, and Christ is the Lord of peace. This is why he said, bless those who spread peace. During life, each one of us, he have his own road. He have his own way. He have his own character, act, story, and some of us we face failure some of us we face success but i guarantee you that all of us we face failure even the succeed one failure actually is a sign of success not the opposite which means in order to be succeed or to succeed in something you have to fail somehow like a baby when he start learning how to walk in order to walk he have to stood up and then he fail and then he stand up and he fail and then by time he learn how to walk all of us in certain time we are like babies and actually the humble one is the one who always think about himself as a child the more you get proud about yourself the more you are fool and i see nothing around me when muslims speak to me except people who they are so proud but when you ask them, you are proud about what? You have no idea. Do you know what I mean? If you ask a Muslim, you are proud about what exactly? We don't know. You see the most silly answers ever. Like, we worship one God. This is this will make you proud. Okay. There is a, there is a place, the temple in San Francisco. It's called the Temple of Satan. They worship one God. His name is Satan. Should, be, should they be proud too? They cannot find us anything to be proud about. And today is no different. Here we go. We have an open challenge for all the Muslims in the world to come and call us friendly. We don't want to fight. We are here to talk. So maybe we reach into a conclusion. All of us. Muslims, Christians, atheists, Hindus, Buddhists. doesn't matter who you are. My Lord, the Lord, love you all. My Lord, he ordered me to love even my enemies. And because I love you, I'm here for you. I saw many texts in Skype. And actually, there's a Muslim. He said to me, uh, I am a Muslim. Can you make me leave my religion? <clears throat> my, my friend... I did not make anyone leave his religion. They leave it. Maybe the Lord, he used me as a tool, you know, yes. But it's you who leave the religion. For me, I share my knowledge with you. And it's you who make decision. You know, for me, I call that the Lord open your eyes. But at the end of the day, you have a free will to be or not to be. Uh, right now, my Skype is open. Muslim can call me by the way uh, the guy who uh, yesterday we have a uh, uh, about an hour conversation with him what his name this guy he wanna he wanna speak about the jinn uh, if he is here let me know if you want to call because uh, yesterday you were you know became so annoying so I have I think to put you into mute uh, because you keep calling you didn't give me even time to talk Any Muslim would like to call us, please feel free. I am a Christian prince, and I am here to challenge what is called Islam. I believe Islam is a very silly, 
funny, um, fiction, fairy tale, belief. And I challenge anyone to prove me wrong. You cannot. When a Muslim he speak to non-Muslims, the first thing, game he play with is you don't speak Arabic. You don't what? You don't speak Arabic. Uh, you are ignorant, right? And I find it very amusing that they themselves agree that their prophet is illiterate, but they re require you to be educated. They required you to know a language have nothing to do with you, and this is the only excuse they have. When they speak to someone like me, they cannot say you do not know Arabic. They will say your English is funny. They will say, oh, you do not know even how to pronounce some words in English. Right? They will find an excuse. When I challenge Muslims to debate me, do you know what they say? Uh, show us your face. Why do you want to see my face? People want your answer, my friend. Your God, Allah, never, never show his face. Does that mean he's a coward? Your God, Allah, never even spoke to Muhammad. Never. Why? Is that because he is uh, not brave? Any Muslim can tell us? Any Muslim? If Allah never spoke to Muhammad, never show his face to Muhammad, never say a word to Muhammad, how Muhammad became a prophet? Have you ever heard of a messenger? He never met or spoke to the one who sent him the message? You know what I mean? How that can be? Imagine I say to you, I am sent by God, but God never spoke to me. Even all the Muslims agree. Uh, that the one who delivered messages to Muhammad, it was a guy, his name is Jibreel. And even this guy, Jibreel, there is no witnesses. Muhammad, he claimed that Jibreel, he looked like a guy who is a very handsome boy, young man, in Quraysh. His name is Dahil Kalbi. So imagine I have a handsome neighbor, and I claim that Jibreel, he come to me always in the face of Dahil Kalbi. Muhammad, he went, according to Muslim, to the seven heaven, but there's no witnesses. Muhammad came back, there's no witnesses. Even his wife, she cannot witness that Muhammad disappear. Everything Muhammad he do, there is no witnesses for it. Even his sexual relationship, there's no witnesses for it. Which mean, there is no wife in the bed. Have you ever heard even sex is not real? Have you ever heard of somebody, even his sexual relationship, have no witnesses for it? Which means he was alone? Read with me carefully. The prophet continued for such a such a period of time, imagining that he had slept, had sexual intercourse with his wives, but in fact he did not. Even his sex is fake. No wife there to witness that he was having sex. How this man became a prophet? 
how we can trust him to be a prophet this guy there's a movie it's called the perfect host I don't know how many of you watch it how many of you know uh, watch this movie if you do not I, I advise you to watch it because the perfect host it is literally as if it is written about Muhammad it's about a person who is a delusional he see things is not there he see himself having sex he see himself dating people he see himself talking to people he see himself dining with people but there's nobody there I never heard of a prophet even his sex was false I mean at least get what witness the wife even the wife. when Muhammad he imagined himself having sex he was having sex with what because obviously he was doing something but with who with what Give me a reason to believe in a delusional man to be a prophet of God. What if this guy, if this guy, he cannot recognize what is sex, what is not, how we can trust him that he saw an angel? Do you know guys what I, what I mean? How we can trust that this guy, he really saw an angel. Yesterday we have a Muslim he called me and he claimed that he is a scholar and you remember what happened you can go watch the, the, the conversation yesterday I cannot call by the way I cannot call any any uh, talk I speak to Muslims even those who claim to have knowledge a debate we don't debate them you know we destroy what they have be my witness bring me a Muslim he will claim he want to debate me and the funny this guy he posted in the text that he de he, de he destroyed me you believe it <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Yes. Uh, hello. I'm Boris. I wanted to ask, uh, where is the verse that the Muslims will have? Uh, will be. My, my friend, your voice is not clear. I don't know why. S say again. Can you hear me? I hear you, but it's like muffled. Okay, say again what you were saying. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Uh, are you a where? Muslim? Are you a Muslim? No, no, no. Okay, ho hold on then. We have to take a Muslim first, please. Hello? Yes. Who is with me, please? You are live on air, my friend. Yes, this is Abu This is who? Abu Abdullah. Abu Abd? Abu Abdullah. Abu Abdullah. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful, Abu Abdullah. Sorry for the first caller. You can call me later, please, because we have a we have a Muslim uh, friend. He is calling, so Muslims always come first. Forgive me, please. So, uh, Abu oh. Abdullah, what what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Everybody, hear you. Okay. So I have some questions for you. All right. Um. So the first question, I guess, I have is. <clears throat> Is your question written what in front of you? Is the question written in front of you or somebody is giving it to you? No, they're they're right in my head. Oh, in your head. That's good. I thought they are not in your head. Okay. That's better. Okay. So what is the criteria for a prophet? What is the criteria? That's wonderful. What is the criteria for a prophet? You see, the Bible speaks no, about a prophet. prophet. But prophet. My friend, do you want me to answer you or not? So for any prophet, not, not a particular one. Yes, no, not, not necessarily, not necessarily. The Bible says if anyone prophesy in the name of the name of other God, that's a false prophet. And then the okay. second the second criteria, if he make a prophecy and the prophecy did not come true, he is a false prophet. And that goes for your prophet. Okay. So you're, you're a prophet as an example. No, hold on. So you you're, you're a prophet oh. as you're a prophet as an example. He made a false prophecy as an example. He said the judgment day is near and the moon is split. And the judgment day never come and the moon never split. And this is a false prophecy proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. What do you think? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me answer that question. Hmm. Do you say the first prophecy he said is that the hour is near? Yeah. Okay, it is near. How's that how's that now prophecy came true? Well, it, it's it's not near. I mean, he said that for 300 years, and the moon did not split, and the moon is already one piece. What happened, Allah? After oh, no. uh, after Allah, he split the moon. My friend, hold on. Allah, he split the moon and he glued it together again. What happened? Explain to us. Did Allah split the moon really? Did Allah split oh. the moon really, or this is a lie? Hold on. The moon was already split. Almost That's number one. The moon is a split. Number two. Number two. The hour is near. It is near. 
Because one day, it says in the Quran, one day with your Lord is like a thousand years of your time. Mm, this so, is this is something Muhammad he took from the Old Testament. But my friend, my friend, hold on. You see, Muhammad when he said that the moon is split, when when hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When Muhammad he said the moon is split, it's mean that judgment day already started. This is a sign of the judgment day. It's not about it's going to be near a thousand years from now. He's speaking to human beings. He's not speaking to God. It is man speaking to us, and God told Muhammad it's near. And the near here about what? About the moon split. Look, 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 look. The moon split. But the moon never split, and the moon is one piece. It's still until now. Split in the time of Rasulullah. It already split. Okay. What the point? What the point of splitting the moon in the time of Muhammad and put it together again? What? What? Why is that? Okay. What's the point in in Allah splitting the Red Sea for Musa for Moses? Because he want to save them. The answer is very simple. Because okay. he want to save them. Yeah. Because he want to save them. He want to save them. But now, explain to me what the point? What the point of splitting the moon and Allah he glue it again? You admit that Allah split the Red Sea. So if he split the Red Sea, why is he not capable of splitting the, the moon? Now I can see this argument coming. My from friend, I told you why he split the moon. He split the moon because of the judgment day, and he split and God he split the sea to save Musa, and he saved him. Now he split the moon here for what? As a sign of judgment day, but judgment day never come. So when you split you the moon, my friend, you when you say when you say the moon is split, it's mean that said judgment day is there and the moon is gone. We split it, we came two pieces. And this is a sign of judgment day. So how the why Allah He split the moon when Allah He split the moon to do what to show us that judgment day is is is, is coming, right? Okay. So judgment day is coming, but nothing come, and the moon is not split. It's there. Let me explain. Mm. First of all, you're supposed to be a Christian, right? You're not an atheist. So if you're a Christian, you have to abide by certain criteria, by certain you know rules, which is that we believe in miracles. We believe that Allah can perform miracles. Show me, show me up, show me a proof that Allah He did the miracle. Go ahead. The miracle is the splitting of the moon. Who know? There's no witness of it, and there's nobody can prove it. Okay, thank it's you, thank you, excellent, thank you. Now, who is the witness that the Red Sea was split? The people who was there, thousands of people. Okay, thank you very much. Now, thousands of people were there at the time of the but you just deceived your whole argument. You my, my friend, my friend, my friend, what Muhammad he saw and what the Arabs saw, it was an eclipse, a normal eclipse. Muhammad he is, he took this poetry from an Arab man, his name is Umrul Qais, and he put it in the Quran. We're on the topic now. Hold on for a second. Don't start. We, in the Quran, it says that the moon was split. Okay. And the Quran, it says that the Red Sea was split. Okay. And the Quran, it says that the moon was split. Okay. okay. So if you believe, if you are a person who believes in the miracles that are given to the Prophet, okay. Then these are two equal miracles. You can't say that the Red Sea happened and the moon did not happen, unless you're an atheist. If you're an atheist, you can say that. You can say none of it happened. Then mm. have a have another argument there. Okay. But if you believe that you believe in prophets that were sent by God who were given miracles, then how can you say that the moon was not split, but the Red Sea was split? Okay, are you done? I'm done. I want you to answer the okay. question, please. Uh, the, the answer will be in the Quran in chapter of Al-Isra chapter 17 verse number 59 Allah he confirmed that he will never give a miracle So if Allah he confirmed he will never give a miracle and then you say to me that the moon split was a miracle That's mean there's a contradiction read with me carefully and we refrain from sending sign Only because man, men of former generation treated them as false Do you see it? And then he count the sign he gave Allah he refrained from giving giving sign so how he refrained from giving sign, yet he split the moon? Okay. Now, first of all, what is the tafsir of that ayah? Because what you It do says is, Allah refrained from giving sign. You can read any tafsir for me. Go ahead. Go on. Go yeah, and read, open any tafsir for me, my friend. Don't waste my time. Go now, open any tafsir and let us laugh together. Go open up the tafsir of Ibn Kathir and you will see or, the explanation of that ayah. All right, now, here we go. Okay, okay, hold, okay, okay. Let us let us go to Ibn Kathir, my friend. Chapter seventeen, verse number fifty-nine. You are the one who chose Ibn Kathir, not me, right? Thank you. Okay, yes, go ahead. All right. So, guys, he is the one who chose uh, Ibn Kathir, not me. Seventeen fifty-nine. We go here. All right. The reason why Allah did not send sign or miracles. <laughs> the title, do you see it? <laughs> Said ibn Jubayr said, The idolater says to Muhammad, You claim to be that before you were prophet among whom ones whom uh, the wind was subjected. 
like because Muhammad he claimed that uh, Suleiman he controlled the wind and he have flying carpet and the other uh, could bring the dead back to life and this is Jesus if you want us to believe you ask your Lord then to turn us uh, uh, a suffer into a gold for us Allah conveyed to him inspiration what uh, uh, way I have heard that they have said to you as you wish etc so here is explanation that why Allah will not have a sign for them because they will not believe it anyway. Correct? Okay, you, you, you did not read the full explanation. Okay, my friend, the screen in front of you, you read it. Go ahead, I'm listening. I don't see the screen because I'm just... I will, the... I will give you a link in your Skype. Is that fine? Yes, please. Okay, go ahead. Please open the link in your Skype. I'm listening. Uh, oh, I'm not quite sure how to read this thing. I said, okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay, my connection is slow. It's opening up. No problem. Um, the okay. title, the title it says, let, not... me, let me help you enter your open. The title itself is giving us the answer. The reason why Allah did not send signs. Conclusion. As simple as that. And miracles. Who is saying that? Ibn Kathir, not me. The reason why Allah did not send signs or miracles. Conclusion is in the title. Read and, read and let us see. Okay. Um, I don't know where you got this top here image of here from. Guys, he's Hold asking me. He's asking me. I, oh, he, I don't he, he don't know. He don't know where I get this tafsir Ibn Kathir from. You are the one who asked me to get you Ibn Kathir. And this is I'm, Ibn Kathir. I'm going to go to, I'm gonna go to mine. Just give me a second. But while, while, we're, while, while I'm finding that, I just want you to answer me a question. So, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I want you to explain to me what do you mean when I get this stuff here from? What do you mean? Here we go. Let me show you. Oh, no, 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 no. You are accusing me that I am fabricating things because simply you did not like it. You did not like what you asked me to, to read for you. This is Quran X website. Quran X, this is very Islamic website. And this is Tafsir Ibn Kathir. And the website is in the front of you. And the address in the front of you. So, why you are accusing me, saying to me, where do you get this stuff here from? The what? What's the number of the ayah? I gave you the link. 59? Don't you see? Are you blind? Don't you see the link? I gave you the link. It says chapter 17, verse 59. And I how many times I need to repeat the verse number and the chapter number? I told you from the first second I started talking about this in chapter 17, verse number 59. Allah he said, How I know I, I refrain from sending miracles. You said to me, Okay, show me tafsir. Don't give me your explanation. I said, Okay, what tafsir you want? You said Ibn Kathir. We opened Ibn Kathir, and now you are saying to me, Where are you get the tafsir from? All the prophets were given miracles. Each and every prophet and messenger were given miracles. And why Muhammad, he don't have a miracle? He had many miracles. Wait, it says here in front of you, Allah, he refused to give miracles. And you are saying, this is a contradiction. Are you saying to me, Quran is a book of fabrication? Because if Allah gave him miracles, if Allah gave him miracles, why Allah, he say he refrained from giving him miracles? The ayah does not say that Allah refrained to give a miracle. It says that. It says no. that. Read the ayah for me and read the interpretation. Aren't you the one who asked me to read Ibn Kathir? What's wrong with you? Now you are shooting in your foot. It, guys, isn't it him who said to me Ibn Kathir? Is it him? It, was, it wasn't his choice. I did not even choose Ibn Kathir. You are the one who said to me, let us see the interpretation. I said, sure. Which one you want? You said Ibn Kathir. So it is your choice. And Ibn Kathir is saying to you, well, Allah refrained from sending a miracle. As simple as, as, as that. Okay, so it says, "Wama mana ana an nursila bil 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 ayatin illa an kathab biha al awalun," and nothing stops us from sending the ayat, but that the people of old denied them. Hmm. I like your Arabic, by the, the way. I, I, I want you to teach me Arabic when you have heart, when you have part time. My friend, it doesn't say that in Arabic. Okay, 
learn Arabic before you don't try to don't act like you are reading Arabic you do not know Arabic now the verse in the front of you says we refrain from sending miracles and we never send a miracle and we will not send a miracle because people of former generation did not accept it and they say it's a lie and even he mentioned the the the, the, the miracle of Thamud which is nobody can witness it's, it's a fiction and the, the rock who became a camel have you ever heard of a rock became a camel and this is supposed to be a miracle now and then the camel the the, the, the rock gave birth to a camel and the camel is a bread net with 10 month camel now I gave you Ibn Kathir. Why you don't want to read for me Ibn Kathir? Why are you always wasting my time? Okay, so what the ayah means is, I read the, the truth of Sheer Ibn Kathir. I don't know what you have. But the, the truth of Seer, guys. He is reading the truth of Seer of Ibn Kathir. The one I have is fake. Did you hear it? I read okay. the truth of Seer of Ibn Kathir. I, I'm going to okay. post. I'm going to post the link of I, what I have, and everybody will be laughing at you. What do you mean the truth of Seer? Because the, because the one I'm reading right here says something different. The one, I, the one, the one I'm reading right here says, that we refuse to send the ayah of that mountain being turned to gold. It's talking about that particular request. My friend, from the, my I, friend, from the I challenge you. I challenge you. Okay, listen, listen, listen. We will make a challenge. We will make a challenge. I accuse you to be a liar. Give me the link. Give me the link. I will put it in the screen. Don't cut me off. Please. Give me the link of Ibn Kathir you are reading from. I will put it in the screen. You are a liar. No, you are a liar. Okay, get me busted. Got me busted. Here we go. I showed you Ibn Kathir in the front of you on the screen as you wish. And this is your Muslim website. Give me the link which you are reading from if you are truthful. Go to the uh, Google Play if you have a smartphone. What Google and, Play? Give me, give me, share, share with me in Skype. Share with me. Share with me. Okay, I just sent it to you. Hmm. I sent you the page. Okay. Like I said, that ayah is about that particular request from the pagans to turn those mountains into gold. It does not mean that the prophet Muhammad was not given miracles. This mm. is what you do to people who are listening without knowledge. Mm. Okay, listen, so, and, guys. If this is if this is about particular particular, then Allah He should not say we refrain from sending miracle. He should say, I did not refrain. I did not refrain. He should say, I did not refrain. And I will give you one. You you let just me, me, if if this is only about a particular incident, then he should not say that this is a mistake because he should. Let me ask you a question. Don't you Muslims say the Quran is a miracle? Don't you Muslims say? Don't you Muslims say the Quran is a miracle? Yes or no? Of course. Okay. How Allah He say refrain from sending miracle if the Quran itself is a miracle? Which means when He said that sentence, He just made a miracle. So shouldn't He say right away to them, "We did not refrain. We gave you the Quran. If the because Quran itself, if the Quran itself is a miracle." And now he is saying Quran, which means in this in the same second he is saying we are not going to give you a miracle. He was making miracle, and that's this it, is a proof. This is a proof that, that it's a lie that the Quran is a miracle. Because if the Quran is a miracle, he should not say to them we refrain from the miracle. Because he is saying Quran. If the Quran is a miracle, it's like saying I am not going to talk, and he is talking. Listen, now can I talk? <laughs> can I speak now? <laughs> the ayah says, put it on the screen again. And if you want, you can read it in Arabic. The ayah says, and we do not refrain from sending the ayah, these miracles. It does not say that we refrain from sending to you, Muhammad. That ayah is talking about that particular request from the pagans to turn those mountains into gold. It does not mean that I don't send you, Muhammad, any miracle. That's not what the ayah says. Read what it says. Don't make up things and don't run with the ayah. It's not based on what you understand. It's based on the words in the ayat. The ayat does not say, we do not refrain from sending you Muhammad. Okay, 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 Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Okay, this is Ibn Kathir in front of me in Arabic. Read this for me. You claim that you know Arabic. Go ahead. I have to get back to the screen now. So my point being no no your point being is in front of you. Point. Let me you see I'm getting you busted. Read Ibn Kathir. I show it to you in English, I show it to you in Arabic. You claim that you speak Arabic and you know Arabic and you are not a person who knows Arabic. You are lying. Read for me what Ibn Kathir is saying. Don't skip. I don't see the page. No, you see the page. It's in the front of you on the screen. Are you wanting to send me a link? Here we go. Am I see, hold on, hold on. Am I supposed to be on type or on YouTube? Which one? I will send you the link, no problem. Open it in your side. Oh, 
Okay. Um, it's still loading. Mm. So while this loading, can I ask you a question? You said that you speak now Arabic. That we you, 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 you are trying to read Quran for me in Arabic, supposedly, making me believe okay. that you okay. know Arabic. Read for me. What do you want to read? Read Ibn Kathir. What do you want in front me to of read? You. Ibn Kathir in front of you. All of it? Read the interpretation. You know, we have time. You have time. Read what it says because we want to get to the conclusion. Read and show me where your point is there. Show me. That this is only was okay, for that I, time. Okay. Why are you are reading the verse, my friend? Read, read, read the interpretation. Read the interpretation. Oh, okay. Okay. But I want you to. I also want you to see that in the verse, it does not say we do not send you miracles, Muhammad. My friend, read the interpretation. Okay. So interpretation. What? What? That's the, that's the, uh, well, what, 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 what are you doing? What are you talking about? What is that? Where, where, where it says that? You want me, to, you want me to read the explanation or the, uh, the interpretation the, that, the, the, the page I gave you read Ibn Kathir. You do not know Arabic. You are acting that you know Arabic. I don't, I don't see any interpretation. I just see the ayah. I, I gave you, I gave you the link and it's in the screen in front of me. You are trying to act like you know Arabic, but in fact, you do not know Arabic. Is that true? Whether I know Arabic or not, that's not the point. No, the point but, is why you are trying to, to make us believe that you know Arabic, reading in Arabic when you do not know Arabic. Not, not Arabic so you are point. lying. You are a liar. You are a liar. You are the one who said to me, read, read Ibn Kathir in Arabic. I, I, this is why I put it for you in Arabic. Listen, why you ask me Why you ask me to give you Ibn Kathir in Arabic if you do not know Arabic? I didn't ask you for Arabic. Listen. No, you are the one who said read Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Listen. Listen, listen. So you do not know Arabic. So why you are trying to act like you know the Quran in Arabic? Why you are reading for me Quran in Arabic if you do not know Arabic? Your point was that the prophet. Listen, Abdul. Listen, I challenge you to show me where there it says in Ibn Kathir that this is only for what that incident only. Show me. I'm listening. Where's the English? At? I gave you the English. I gave you the, the Arabic. What do you want? Show me where it says that, that this is only for that time. Okay. Paul Asani and Hamid ibn Dayd and Ayu and Saeed ibn Jubair. Paul, Paul al Mushrikun, Ya Muhammad, Inaka, Tazamu, and Nahu, Tana Kabulaka, and Bia. The men whom men Sakhat Lahu a reef, the men whom men can Yuhi Alta. In <laughs> The Nuzul al Aya, the Nadra, when shit and I love this Arabic. I don't know what are you reading, but anyway, listen, uh, tell me the conclusion where, where it says there, where it says that this is only one time deal. Go ahead, my friend, my friend, read it all, read it all by your eyes. Tell me where we can find what you are claiming that this is only for that incident. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. I gotta go back to the English so everyone will understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The people of Mecca asked the prophet to turn a and to go for them and to remove the mountain from Mecca mm -hmm. so that they could cultivate the land. Mm -hmm. And what said to him, mm -hmm. by Allah, mm -hmm. which I will be patient and give them more time, or which I will do what they are asking. But if they then disbelieve, they will be destroyed as nations before them were destroyed. And so I'm trying to figure out where where am I supposed to be reading where he does not send my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, the title in front of you, it says the reason why Allah did not send sign and miracle. The reason, the reason, the reason, the reason. Now, you say to me, this is only temporarily for that occasion. Show me what it says there, that this is only for that occasion. I'm listening.
It was said, I just read it to you. It was said to him, if you wish, I will, I will turn, hold on a second. I have heard what they have said. If you wish, I will do what they say. But if they do not believe after that, the punishment will come. So that means he's talking about that particular request, like I said. Any other, any other questions? My friend, where it says that Allah, he, when he said, when he said, what are you, what are you talking about? Where in the tafsir in front of us is said that Allah, he meant only in that occasion, he will refrain. It says the reason why Allah did not send signs or miracles. Why? Because people did not believe in it. Okay, well, let me ask you a question. Do people change their mind? I have heard Do people have change said. their mind? Do people change their mind that, they, that, that Allah, that Allah, if he sent a miracle, we will believe it. Do those people change their mind? Are you saying to me, no, Allah? Are you saying to me, Allah? He do not know if those people will change their mind or not. Are you saying to me, Allah is ignorant? Allah is saying they will not. The reason I will not send you because you will not believe. Okay. Now let me ask you: Do Allah later find out that those people they will believe and he decide to send a sign? I really don't understand. My question is very simple. If I say to you, I did not cook for you because you will not eat, and later I cooked because I I noticed that you are hungry. Right. So are you saying to me, Allah, he said they will not believe. And later he found out that he was wrong. And those people will believe if he gave them a sign. OK, can I answer your question without being cut off? Answer without giving me a question. Answer the question first before you give me a question. Very, very simple. Hmm. The people asked the messenger, the messenger of Allah, Muhammad, to hmm. turn those two mountains into gold. Hmm. OK. Hmm. Allah revealed in the ayah, hmm. we do not. We will we, we not send the ayah. What does the ayah say again? <laughs> and nothing stops us from sending the ayah, but that the people of all denied. So Allah said, if you want, I will turn them out into gold. But if they disbelieve after that, they'll be destroyed. So Rasulullah did not ask him to turn them out into gold. That does not mean. That, that mm. Allah never sent a miracle to Muhammad. Mm. What's the next question? My friend, let me ask you a question, and this question will be very easy for you. Look like you are very smart. Oh. Which one which one delivered first to Muhammad? The chapter 17 or chapter 54? I don't know. Oh, how come? I don't have all the knowledge. Uh, sorry? I don't have all the knowledge. Why don't you educate us? Tell us you don't have. You don't have what? But you, once again, you're you're trying to evade the question. My friend, my friend, I, my friend. I'm asking you. I'm asking you a very serious question. Don't take it. Don't don't <laughs> don't take question. it lightly. This is a very serious question. We'll we'll show everybody that you Muslims. You have no idea what are you talking about. I'm asking you. Please don't play games. Which chapter Allah gave Muhammad first? Chapter 17 <laughs> or chapter 17, 54? My first question of this debate, my was, friend, don't jump that question because this question will get you busted. Will get you busted. Big deal. Which which chapter Allah gave first? I'm seventeen or fifty four? Fifteen or seventy fifty four? Seventeen or fifty four? Which one Allah He gave first? I want an answer, please. Is the criteria in Christianity? Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. People, people are laughing. Why you are changing the topic? Answer the question because that will show us if you are a liar or not, my friend. That will show us. That will show us if you are a liar or not. So I'm ask. I'm asking you. I'm asking you friendly, my friend. My friend. My friend. I'm asking you friendly. I'm asking you friendly. Which chapter Allah gave to Muhammad first? Fifteen or seventeen or fifty-four? You told me in the beginning of the conversation the moon was not split yet. We're waiting. My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, hold on, hold on. Why why do you want to jump the topic? Why do you want to jump the topic? Chapter 17, <laughs> chapter 17 was sent first because we are we want to finish this. Chapter 17 was sent first or chapter 54? Always try to evade this question because I noticed the nail in the coffin. What is our, the criteria for a prophet to be a prophet in Christianity? My friend, my friend, I told you from the Thank beginning, you. this is the first question you gave me. I gave you the answer. He is a false prophet. He's a false prophet. As an example, do, do, you, you, do you want me to change the topic? You want to change the topic? We can change it. But agree that you are, you, you are, you are, you are lying to us. I'm asking you why you don't want to answer me. Why you don't want to answer me? 
which one oh, Allah gave to Muhammad first, chapter 17 or chapter 54? It's very easy oh. answer. Either either you okay. tell me or you say I'm a coward, I will not tell you because there is something fishy. There is something fishy. Please answer me. Which one Allah gave first? Chapter okay. 17 or a chapter? I give you I give you an easier question. How about that? I give you an easier question. If Muhammad was not the last prophet, tell me who was. <laughs> Here we go. Catch we again. can go to that. We can go. We, we have all the time. I will take I, I will stay I with you until tomorrow. I will stay with you until tomorrow. Let us finish this one first. Why you don't want to answer? You see, you want to you, you know what you know why you want to answer? Because that will get you busted. Because if Muhammad he have no miracle until that time. If this is a chapter 17, this is chapter 17 where it says, If this is the case, it means anything before that is proven to be that Muhammad never received a miracle. Do you agree? His miracle was flipping the moon. My friend, That's my friend, stop stop being stupid. Stop being stupid. Let answer the question. Based, based on what you said to me, that until now, when Allah, he said this verse, Allah, he said, I'm not going to send a miracle because I refrain from sending a miracle for this reason. This is mean, before that date, Muhammad never received a miracle. Do you agree? Rasulullah received many miracles, one of them being which he split <laughs> the moon. Okay? My friend, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Why? Why you? Why you don't want to answer? Why you don't want to answer? So based based on what you said, listen carefully. Everybody is laughing at you. You became a joke of everybody. I, I don't mean to do so, but you aren't doing it yourself. I'm asking a specific question. Based on your answer, you said that this chapter saying that Allah He spoke about that moment that He will not give any revelation, and He confirmed He never gave revelation yet. But you are saying that the moon split happened. So I'm asking you. Did the moon split happen before this verse or after this verse? It doesn't matter because that verse. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does matter. It does matter. It does matter. It does. It does matter for me. It doesn't matter for me. Give me the answer, please. Give me the answer. It does matter. It does matter. I want to take a post on mine as well. So listen. Why it does the not? Ayah, why it does not matter, for, my my friend? Who are you? To, who are you to decide for us what does matter, what is not? Who are you to decide? I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question. Please respect, respect that we're adult. We're adult. We are adult, aren't we? Okay. I'm asking you. I'm asking you friendly, nicely. Which one Allah He gave to Muhammad first? The chapter seventeen or a chapter fifty-four? Okay. Can I finish though? Go not ahead. Complete. The answer before you cut me off. Give me at least two minutes to talk without being cut off. No, just one minute. I don't need one minute. Don't cut me off before one minute, okay? Now you want to watch mm. the time now, right? Mm. Okay? Mm. Don't cut me off. Mm. The ayat that you gave is irrelevant. Irrelevant. Because it does not say, and if anyone has a doubt, read the ayat. The ayat does not say that we do not send Muhammad miracles. Mm. That was the ayah said clearly. Now, answer my question. What is the criteria of a prophet? And if Muhammad was a prophet, tell me who was. Give me proof in the Bible. Let's okay. go. Hold on, hold on. Let me show you. Because if I give you from the Bible, you don't believe in the Bible anyway. I always get Muslim busted from their book. I always get Muslim busted from their book. All right? Okay. Now, the Quran said that Allah, he said to the Jews, that... If a prophet come to you, and this is the Jews speaking, you have to make a sacrifice. And this fire, Allah, he will send a fire from the sky and is going to eat their sacrifice. Is that correct? So you're not going to answer my question? I'm answering your question. I want a proof in the Bible. I want you. You are trying to get away. You cannot get away. I'm getting you busted. I'm getting you busted. I gave you the answer from the Bible. I gave you the answer from the Bible. A prophet, he cannot be a prophet if he prophesy in the name of a false god. And Allah is a false god. How is Allah a false god? Because here we go. He make, he say, I think, let me show you. If Allah is God, how he say that the woman, she have a sperm coming from her back, uh, 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 the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. Okay. 
How we say that? If Allah is, is, is Allah is a true God and Muhammad is, a, is, is not a false prophet, why he say such a stupid thing that women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs and men have a sperm coming from their backbone, which is both wrong. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, here we go. Let me show you. You are the one who like Ibn Kathir. Let us go and to no, Ibn no, Kathir. No, 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 no. Here we go. Here we go. Because the point to prove that your God is a false God, right? And you are the one who insists what is the criteria to prove a prophet of God to be a prophet of God. You are the one who yes. insists in trying to jump out of the topic. When I get you busted, you don't want to talk about it no more. Read with me carefully, Abdul. This Allah is, is God. Abdul. This is your prophet. This is your prophet. This is your prophet. Stop playing games. This is your prophet. This is Ibn Kathir. Read with me and laugh. Allah, God. He created the man. How he, how Allah created the man? Read with me carefully. He is a created from water gushing forth, meaning the sexual fluid that comes out bursting forth from the man and the woman. Thus, the child produced from both of them. And then He continues saying, "Produce." The verse says, "Yakhruju min bini sulbi wa tarai," producing from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. How Allah can be God and He says such a stupid thing? Hold on for a second. Can I ask you a question? Very simply. Don't ask me a question. Like, answer what I showed you. Answer what I showed you. How God can be God, but He is yet He says something st stupid like this. Listen, I want you to answer a simple yes or no. Why? Okay, why can... Allah? I will answer you anything you want, but need to answer me. You are the one who's saying what is the criteria? I just showed you. Muhammad is a false prophet. He's prophesy of false things. He just said. He's, he's claiming that God told him how he created the baby, how he created you and me. And then he claimed that your mother and my mother, with my respect to your mother, she have a she have testicle in her breast. First of all, let me ask you a question. If we conclude that Rasulullah Muhammad was a prophet and that the Quran is the word of Allah, that means that whatever is in that book is the truth. I don't care even if science contradicts it. That's, that's, that's a basic principle. My friend, so my friend, this is a this is not about science. This is not about science. This is about basic. This is not about science. I mean, this is something that everybody knows. Everybody knows that the man have a sperm coming from his balls. Everybody knows that. You do not need to be a genius. What science? What science, my friend? What science? What science are you talking about? What kind of God he says such a stupid thing? This is not about contradicting science. This is about contradicting logic, contradicting everything. Everything a human being knows. This is the most stupid argument ever from you to say to me, oh, I don't care if it... So you agree that this is contradicting science and cannot be true and it's a mistake. This is not about logic. This is not about... Uh, uh, what is right what's wrong this is not about maybe maybe not he is talking about every one of us because yes god can do miracle he can do it for a specific person he make his sperm maybe coming from his nose maybe but here he is talking about every human being of us this is how he produced and that is a stupid teaching there's no way god will say that uh, can, I, can i talk now go so ahead i'm listening once, once we start from step one which is we want to know if a very simple question if Muhammad was a messenger or not. Because if he was a messenger, that means that the book that he was given is the word of Allah and everything is in it is true, no matter what we understand or how we understand it or whatever. So that's why I'm trying to ask you what is the criteria in Christianity of someone to be a prophet? And I want you to answer this yes or no question. Did Muhammad, yes or no, did he not preach that Allah sent? Abraham and Moses and Jesus and he created Adam and he created the heavens and the earth if he said that does not does that not mean that he's the same God that you're supposed to be worshiping my friend I can yes no? I can no. create just, no. just shut up let me answer you let me answer you yes. I, I listen to yes. you I listen to you let me talk if no. everybody says I believe in Abraham he is a, a true prophet that's mean the Mormon shut up shut up that's mean the Mormon that's mean the Mormon are all right that's right. mean that Jehovah's Witnesses, they are right. That's mean there's there's a million sect and cult. They, they believe in Abraham and they believe in God. And they, even they say they believe in Jesus. So what does that will do? Let me, Abdul, Abdul, you are avoiding, you are avoiding, you are avoiding the problem. Your God cannot be God. And yet he says, speak stupid. Your Listen, God cannot be God. And he prophesied, your God, he prophesied, your God, he prophesied that women, she have sperm coming from her ribs. I want you to explain to me what kind of God you have. He says such a stupid thing. All your followers, they're, they're kind of worried right now 
Yes or no? Did Muhammad? This a yes or no? That's no, no, Muhammad. He did not speak about them. He got them wrong. As an example, when listen, Muhammad he speak listen, about goodbye. no, no, goodbye. no, Muhammad. He don't believe in Abraham. You see, Jesus said, if you are of your father Abraham, you do your the, the work of your father. This is what Jesus says to people like you. He said to the Jews, the real Jews, not Muhammad the fact man. He said, if you are of your father Abraham, you do the work of your father. Your prophet did not do the work of Abraham. He is a black stone kisser. He prayed in the front of the stones. He bought to a stone. He grew on the stone. He worshiped stones and he prayed to a God. Nobody knows heard of them except the Arab before who is the moon God. So how you say to me, Muhammad is following Abraham, but yet he is doing that. I, let me ask you a question. Did Abraham kiss stones? When you answer my question, I'll answer Abraham, you. I answered you. I just answered you. Are you deaf? Are you deaf? How Muhammad believe in Abraham, but yet he don't believe in what Abraham believed? How Muhammad believe in Abraham, but yet he is worshiping a God? We never heard of him. His name is Allah. How Muhammad believe in Abraham, but yet he kisses stones? Answer us. Did Abraham kiss stones? Did Abraham kiss a black stone? I'm getting threat. Your answer is no. Muhammad did not preach that Allah sent Abraham, Moses, and Jesus, and he created Adam and Eve, and he created the heavens and earth. He did not. You're saying no, Abdul. Abdul, are you stupid or what? I, I, I just answered you. I just answer you that your prophet he he used the name of Abraham, but he don't believe in Abraham because if he believe in Abraham, he should believe in the God of Abraham. The God of Abraham. Okay, can you show me where Abraham he said the word Allah in the Bible? If you ask me a yes no question, I'm gonna give you my a friend. Yes, no. I answered you. I answered you. I answered you what Jesus said. If you are of your father Abraham, you do the work of your father. So if Muhammad follow an Abraham, he should worship the God of Abraham, do the act of Abraham, pray to the same God of Abraham, and should not kiss his stones. You're a prophet, is a stone kisser, is he or is not? Name six of stones. I'm I'm really hurt. Now listen. I don't yes, care. Sir. I don't care how many names your prophet he called to name them as a prophet. They are prophet before him and they are approved already. He is just trying to improve himself, trying to make himself legitimate in my eyes to make me believe in him as many cult leaders. So he said, I believe in Isa, I believe in Mary, I believe in Moses, I believe in Abraham, just to fool us. But that does not make him have to do with any of them. He is using their names to deceive us. Now, let me ask you, why you don't want to answer? Let them, you know what? To make it simple, if Muhammad is worshiping one God, why he kiss a black stone? That's not my point. My point if is, Muhammad is no, 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 I want an answer from you. If Muhammad is a follower of Abraham, if Muhammad is a follower of Abraham, he believes in the God of Abraham. Why he kiss a black stone? Let me give you an example. No, don't give me an example. No, don't give me an example. Answer me, answer me, Abdul. Why he kissed the black stone? I want to know. I am, I am an ignorant. You're, 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 you're a knowledgeable person. I want to learn from you. He follow Abraham, but yet he kisses stones. Why? The argument's not working with me. Why? I'm gonna give you an example to help you out. Because you mentioned Jehovah's Witnesses, right? Yes, they, so are, they, they are like your prophet. Yeah. If a Jehovah's Witness, which I don't believe, I believe that they're just believers like you. But if they came to me and, and, and asked me, is Jehovah the same God that Muhammad and Jesus and Muhammad preached to or preached about? I'm going to say yes, even though I don't believe in that terminology. I don't believe in what they believe in. But it's a simple yes, no question. They when they say Jehovah, they mean that they mean the same God I worship and the same God you worship. So why your so God did you not mention it, Jehovah? No. Why your God did not no. mention Jehovah in the Quran? Look at me off. Look why me your off. God did when not I, mention Jehovah? If he is Jehovah, why we don't have Jehovah in the Quran? Explain to us. I don't I already told you I don't believe in that terminology. What but terminology? This mean, is a, this is supposed to be a name. This is supposed to be a name. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Same time terminology. What terminology? If we have the same God, we should have the same heaven. Have you ever heard of a God? He promised me to have endless penis. That is your God. You can't change the subject. I'm, I'm not I'll changing the topic. That. If we have, you see, you are running away. I got you busted. Your you, God is a liar. Your God is a liar. God do not lie. God does not lie. You can copy the names of other gods. You can take a um, you can take a sign of a Mercedes Mercedes Benz and put it over your donkey, but you cannot make a donkey a Mercedes. Your God is the same as that donkey. He is not Mercedes Benz. You try to make him Mercedes Benz. He is not. So when Muhammad he took the logo, when Muhammad took the logo of the Jews and the Christian trying to place it in his religion, he did not change that the donkey is a donkey. In China, they say he left as a donkey. He never came back as a horse. And what we see in the front of us on the screen is just a speaking of a donkey. There's no way a horse will say that. What kind of God? He said that you have a sperm coming from the backbone and a sperm coming from the ribs of the women. What's God's name? What's your God name? Silent. What's God's no, name? What, I'm asking you. Uh, what's God's name? We don't have a name. God, he said, I am. 
have a name. I am. What? I am. I am. I am. Yes, God does not have a name because no name can contain him. No name can count him. No name can describe him. For he is a glory. For he is a, a, above all names. No God, the God does not have a name, my friend. He said when Musa asked him, What who are you? What I will say to my people, he said to them, I am who I am. Are you stupid or not? Now you tell me what your God name means. You will not you don't even know what your God name means. Please post this on your Do you know what your God name means? Do you know? Do you know what your God name means? You don't know. Listen. Don't forget to post this on YouTube. Guys, it is in YouTube already. Everybody is laughing at you. I have 1,000 people watching now. 1,000 people laughing at you. 1,000 people laughing at you. You know, in, in front of everybody. I challenge you to tell me what Allah means. Listen, you just said. I challenge you. I challenge you to say to us what Allah means. You do not know, do you? Hold on. Hold on. Don't change something. You just said we don't have a name, didn't you? Yes. So how can you say his name is not Allah then? This is what? How can you if, you, if you by your own admission, admit that we don't have a name? I mean, me, me, I, we, 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 not you. I'm not talking about you. Our God, he don't have a name. He said, I am. This is this is the only way he gave himself to us. He did not give a name. I am. This is why we call him Yahweh, which means I, I am. God is with us. God is here. I am the one who is between, between us. He did not give us a name. Are you deaf so or what? You, now, I'm asking you how Allah became your God. What Allah mean? How do you call it your God? What do you say? My God, my Lord. <laughs> my God. You yes. said, hold on. You said God is the name. My friend, are you, are you my friend, me? I'm saying to you, your God has a name. How come we cannot find your God name in our book? You, you said my God. I God say my God, name. yes, and I call him as he called himself. I call him, he said, I am. This is why Jesus, when they ask him, he said, I am. The Muslim, they say to us, where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. Jesus, in the Bible, Jesus, he keeps saying, I am. He said, I am the truth. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the first. I am the last. I am the resurrection. I am the day. I am the one. I, I am before Abraham. I am. This is how God, he presents himself by saying, I am. Now, I'm asking you, I'm asking you, Abdul, what is the meaning of your God, Allah? What is Allah mean? Do you know? Be honest with you. I will shave, I will shave my 20 foot beard if you can tell me what the word Allah mean. Do you dare to tell me what Allah mean? I'm really disappointed. I'm asking you, are you are you saying you are worshiping a God? You don't even the name meaning? Listen, you just admit it. You don't have a name for God. So yeah, guys, yes, because there's no name can describe him. There's no name can contain him. There's no name can can count him. No, no name. There's no name. All all names is languages. Is a language of a human being. Nobody can yeah, describe yeah. God. Listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. I told you what the Bible says. You like it. You don't like it. Go and hit your head with, with the wall. I'm asking you now, what the meaning of Allah? You don't know how you worship a God. You don't even know his name, where it's coming from. We asked a guy who had a PhD in Islam, guys, two weeks ago. He said, an Arab guy, he said the word Allah, and we do not know what it means exactly, but mostly it means worship something. Do you agree with him? Listen. Do you agree with him? Do you agree with him? Said, his name is Dr. Rohi. His name is Dr. Rohi. What Allah mean? Why, 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 why you don't want to tell us? Why you don't want to tell us what Allah mean? Let me finish. Why said, you don't want no 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 I will not you finish I am here I am here you, you know this you, this is what I do I put Muslims in the corner you have to tell me what Allah means you are for yourself you say you don't have a name for God you have Allah you, you tell me your God I told you I told you we don't have a name no we don't what's wrong with you do I need to repeat it do, do I need to sing it for you until tomorrow God he said I am this is the only thing we know about God that he is giving himself that title which is I am the one which means I am the one exists by myself. I am I do not need anyone. I'm not dependent on anyone. So now answer me. What Allah mean? You're trying to change the subject. What again. no, you are the yeah. one who asked me about God names, you stupid. It's you who asked me about because, this. It's it's you no, who mentioned no, no, the word no, no, name. No, no. It's you who no, no, mentioned no, no. Abraham. It's you who changed the topic. It's you who jumped from the no, uh, God no, refrain. No. I ask you where God here refrain you about this incident only. You could not show me the proof. It is you who jumped like a monkey from a place to place. And you know what? As long as we are talking about monkeys, do you really believe that Allah He made the Jews monkeys? Didn't you just say about two minutes ago, whatever the, the Bible says? You believe it? If you don't like it, my friend, you don't believe in the Bible. You don't believe in the God of the Bible. No, 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 you, you have nothing to do with the Bible. You, you, you see, why you don't want to tell me if you have a God, why you don't, how come you do not know what your God name means? I will tell you why, because this is a foreign name. You have nothing to do with it. Listen. Is that true? Is that true Listen. that you do not know what Allah means? Because this is a foreign word. You Muslim, you stole it. Muhammad, he stole it from other nations. 
Yeah, so Allah means uh, what is worship. Allah, the ilah means anything that's worship. Allah means that he is the one who is worshipped. So Allah is, a, is Allah is a name or Allah, Allah, is, Allah is a name or Allah is a word. Allah is a name or is Allah a word mean worship. Allah, ilah means what someone worship. My friend, Abdul. Do you want me to do, do you want me to spank you? Do you want me to spank you? Are you saying that the Muslim when they say the Shahada La ilaha illallah, they are saying la ilaha la ilaha, or they are saying that Allah is a name and ilah is a word meaning God. Uh, yeah, Allah is the proper name. Okay, Allah so it's a name. So don't tell me it's ilah la 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 la. It's a name. So it's not ilah. So what Allah mean? So what Allah mean? I just told you. You did not tell me anything. He what is Allah the mean? That, He's what? That, He's what? That is that Worship. He's what? The heaven, the, say, say again, the say again, guys, guys. Allah, Allah, me and the one yeah. who created the earth and the heaven. Where do you get this from? Allah is the person who did that. I'm telling you, I'm asking you about the name. I'm asking you what the name means. Stop being stupid. Wait, what the name mean? What the name mean? Don't tell me it. It's mean that he is the one who created. The, where do you get this from? Allah is a name. The name have a meaning. What the meaning from? I just said that Allah is His proper name. Ilah. Means what is worship? If you make a stone to worship it, that's your ilah. Your okay, let ilah. me, let me, Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Can you, inf you see, I have 1,000 people. Listen, I will give you opportunity, golden opportunity. Listen, we, let us go back to zero. I am giving you opportunity to prove to Allah that Allah is a true God. Is that fair, guys? Is that fair? There's 1,000 people listening right now. I want you to prove to us, based on your religion, that Allah is a true God. I'm listening. Go ahead. You want me to prove that Allah is a true God? Yes. That's a strange question. Hmm. Go ahead. I don't understand that. Could you explain, please? What? Could you explain? You, you said to us that Allah is the God of Abraham, right? Hold on a second. You said to us that Allah is the God of Abraham. He is the one who created the earth and the heaven, etc. Okay, what is the proof that Allah He did any of that? What is the proof that Allah is a God of Abraham, God of Moses, God of Isa, God of uh, and all the names you mentioned to me? Prove to me. Go ahead. I'm listening. Hold on a second. So you're asking me what is the proof that Allah is the creator of the heavens and the earth? No. How you can prove to me that Allah is God? <laughs> I can prove to you that Allah is God because yes. He revealed to us the Quran. Because what? Clearly, because what? He revealed, he revealed to mankind through Muhammad the Quran. Because what? Because what? Say again, please. I'm not hearing yeah, you. Yeah, He revealed to mankind through Muhammad the hmm. Quran, hmm. which proves that He is Allah, that He is okay. the Creator of heaven. So He, 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 He. You are saying to me the proof that Allah is God is the Quran. But the Quran in front of us saying that man have a sperm coming from the backbone and women have a sperm coming from the ribs. <laughs> Do you hear me, my friend? Huh? What's the question? You are saying to me that the proof that Allah is God is the Quran. And the Quran says that Allah, he said, that the sperm is of the man is coming from the backbone and the sperm of the women is coming from the ribs. That is your proof. <laughs> Um, you keep going back to this point about about the sperm from the backbone, and and like I like I said before, I like you just proved or like you just you just claimed that anyone does not Bible can hit their head in the wall, right? My friend, I don't hear you. I don't know what you are saying. I'm, I, you are the one who said to me the Quran is the proof that Allah is God. How Allah He says such a stupid thing? Explain to us, please. He didn't. He didn't say whatever he said is the truth. Uh, so you so you believe that women have a sperm coming from their ribs. So you believe that your wife, with my respect to her, she have a sperm coming from her ribs. Do you believe in that? That's how the Quran says. Well, the Quran is saying that in front of me. That's how you interpret it. That's how the Quran says. My friend, now, this is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir in front of my eyes. Go and interpret. And a second ago, a second ago, to you know, isn't it you who said to me the Quran says that even if it contradicts the, the, the science, I believe in it. You said that, so you agree with him. Now you don't agree. Show me in the Quran where it says that. Huh? Chapter eighty-six, verse number six and seven, and this is the tafsir okay. of Ibn Kathir in front of your eyes. Here we go. Let me give you Ibn Kathir. Let me give you Ibn Kathir. Here we go. Here we go. I want you to read for us what Ibn Kathir is saying. How Allah I'm, is God, I'm, and He says such a stupid thing. Go ahead. I, no, I can't read you. Huh? Read it for me. 
ويخرج من بين الصلب والترائب proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs it's a gushing okay. fluid it's a gushing fluid he created the man from water gushing forth meaning the sexual fluid so this is what this is confirmed to be a sexual fluid thank you very much and this sexual fluid is coming from who is coming from the man and the women thank you very much and then he continues saying that this sexual fluid proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women do you agree with that okay okay do yeah you, do you agree with that do you agree of with course that I... yeah do you agree yes what's your point but women don't have even sperm my friend since when women have a sperm the ayah does not say women have sperm. Where Where is, is it? Where no, the it's no, it's no, it's talking about sperm. Do you want me to prove to you that this is about no, sperm? No, no, Do you no, want no, me no, to no. prove Where to you that this is about the sperm? Do you no. want me to get you busted? Here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're a prophet will get you busted, Abdul. You're a prophet. May Allah uh, bless him. He is going, you know, going to get you busted. Read with me carefully. Uh, okay. I'm listening, Kerb. I'm driving right now. All right. We go in the hadith, we will find the following. No, 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 hold on. What, what? what? You, don't, you, don't, you don't want your prophet to explain the verse for us? You don't want your prophet to explain? You don't want, you know, guys, you don't want, he don't want, no, 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 don't bring me my prophet. My prophet would do poo poo. Don't bring my prophet. My prophet is horrible. My prophet is horrible. Don't please, 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 please. Here, read with me, read with me, read with me, read with me, read with me. This is your prophet explaining the verse. Abdul, 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 don't play games. Your prophet described the man water as thick and white and the women water as thin and yellow. And he is saying, whoever confers the baby will resemble him. And this is Sahih. You done? Read it. Are you done? Yes, I'm done. Go ahead. Okay. You say in the Quran, it says a sperm comes from a woman's back. Where in the ayat does it say that? Rips, rips, not back, my friend. The man back, the man backbone, and the women rips. This, okay, what are you saying? Now, you just keep changing what you're saying. You huh? told me the sperm comes from the woman. Where, wherever you, wherever part you say it comes from. Here we go. Where your prophet explaining that. Part? You're a prophet okay. explaining that. You said to me where we can no, find no, that. No, we no, went to your prophet. No, no. Are you saying your prophet, you do not know the Quran meaning and you know better than your prophet? In the Quran, are you saying your says, prophet is a stupid? Are you saying your prophet is a stupid? This is why you don't accept explanation from the prophet. Can I say that? Well, then read it. Then your prophet explained the verse for us. I, I mean, you don't have to ask me what I said. This is what I'm telling you, <laughs> my you friend. You're a prophet. You're a prophet. You said you're a prophet. Describe your prophet. Describe what he called the sperm of the man and the sperm of the women. He said, Read with me carefully. The messenger of Allah said. The man wa waters, the man's water is thick and white, and the women water is thin and yellow. And whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parent. Do you agree with that? Of course I do. But this is a stupid, my friend, because women come has nothing to do with resembling the parents. Maybe you're stupid. And not only that, and not only that. He is saying that whoever comes first, he, he claimed that he claimed it's about who comes first. He he is the one control the gender and he can the one control the look. This is very stupid too. So you're an atheist then? What's uh, what this have to do with atheist? No, I'm a Christian, my friend. How how a prophet of God he prophesy your your God now? You said to me about false prophet. How your God is a prophet and he says such a stupid thing that if you have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy and will look like you, and if the wife have orgasm first, she will she the boy will be, the, the the child will be a girl and it will look like her. And he is claiming that this is because of the thin water of the women, which is the yellow. Muhammad he claimed. Muhammad he claimed that the women, the water in the women vagina, which is a, a, a sexual lotion, have nothing to do with the sperm. He claimed this is the reason to make the, the baby look like the mother. If, she, if the women come first, that liquid, the yellow liquid, is going to control the gender of the baby. Can I talk now? Sure. Can I cut off? Sure, brother, sure. Now, now, you must be an atheist because people who believe in God and that God messengers don't question whatever a messenger says. No, we question. No, we question. No, 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 we question. No, we question. We question. When when your God, when your God, he says such a stupid thing, then everybody should question, my friend. 
Okay, that's your opinion, and you and you're free to have your opinion. You're it's stupid. not my that's opinion. Not. It's not my opinion. You can go right now read re, read a book for elementary school, and they will teach you that this is a stupid. This is not a true. Okay, that's you can have that opinion. All disbelievers disbelieve in what the best to say. That's why my that's why my first question was so important. What is the criteria of a prophet? And we can know whether Muhammad was a prophet or not. If that he say, and I told you from the beginning, if he said a lie, he is not a prophet. This is a lie. Where's a lie? This is a lie because this is this, this is a proven to be a lie. This is very easy to prove to be a lie. No, that's, if that's I come first, if I come first, or the women come first, that have nothing to do with the baby how he looked like. If I come first, or the women come first, have nothing to do with the gender of the baby. And the women, she don't have a sperm. And the leak what Muhammad is talking about, the yellow and thin, is not a sperm of a woman, and have nothing to do with DNA, have nothing to do with the creation of the baby. This is that just a sexual fluid, just to make the process of sex easier. The same as the man have a lotion in his private part. Your and prophet is being a stupid when he mentioned that, and he got himself busted. This is the truth. Don't have people talk. Listen, let me talk. Okay. So. That's what my first question was important. Is he a prophet or not? It's because you understand something to be false. And what you're saying is true. It, it's proven. This is false. All Muslims would leave Islam. There will be no more Muslims left. Well, be Christian, well you know, I, what I know that there, there is tens of thousands left Islam because of me, my friend. There's tens of thousands. And you are going to help me now to make Muslims leave because you cannot explain to me why your prophet is saying such a lie. It must not be so proven. All yet. what you are saying, all what you are saying, I believe like in that. You, oh, what you are saying, I believe in that. You are, you, are, you are believing in stupidity, and that will not make you anything smart. Where is the proof in the Bible? If Muhammad was not the last prophet, <laughs> tell me who is, which proof in the Bible? You cannot, I guarantee you cannot ask the question. My friend, my man. friend, my friend. The reason, the reason I do not use uh, the, the, you, the reason I do not use the Bible because the Bible forbid me to to to, to throw the jewels of God and the and the defeat of the one who don't respect it. I am showing you from your book listen, that your God he listen, is a liar listen. and he does not exist and your prophet cannot be a prophet. He is he is just now proving to us to be a false man. How he says such a lie? How he says such a lie? Explain to me. How he say? How he says such a lie? Hold on, hold on. I have, I have, a, I have. A, I, I, will, I will give you. I will give you a break. I will give you a break. There's a Muslim trying to call me. Hold on. Let us take second Muslim. We give you enough time. <laughs> Next. One after one. I will make you all leave Islam. Answer the one who is trying to call me. Answer, my friend. Uh -huh. Let's see how many thousand they will leave Islam today after watching this video. You want to bet? What happened? I, 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 the internet is not working. This guy he called me, but now he's not. Uh... Let us see Muhammad Hassan. Muhammad Hassan. He's sending me messages. Wanna talk to me? Yes, Muhammad. Are you trying to call me, my friend? Hello? Yes, are you trying to call me, my friend? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. What do you think about what the gentleman was saying? According to the apparent action, if it's true, yeah. then I have to believe it. I don't I don't have to deny it. You don't have to be what? I will not deny it. Okay, so you, you believe really that the women have a water, it's a, it's a, a yellow and thin, and that, would, that is the one, if she comes first, the baby will be a female like her. You believe in that? Yes. Okay, and what makes you believe in that? What is the reason make you believe? Because the Quran says it. Okay, so if the Quran says something, you will not examine it. You you take it as it is. Do you have science proof to to disapprove those verses? Well, you can go right now to Google, my friend, and you no, can. No, no, I'm asking you. You are the one who brought the doubt, so I'm asking yes, you. Yes, because have this science? is some, this is something I learned since I was in high school. I mean, this is very silly to believe. Your evidence? Because Where's my your friend, evidence? my friend, my friend, according to science, 
the one who controls the gender is the sperm of the man, not even the women. And coming first or coming after have nothing to do how the baby resemble because this is DNA. So I do not need to be looking for a proof. This is a very simple, basic knowledge of of uh, of a human production. And you can Let's go, go right to now. Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Let's see what's the translation of what's the interpretation of this verse. Means. Well, Ibn Kathir, he just gave us the interpretation, and we show what you. No, no, I'm going now. Right we show now. what your friend. Here we go. Well, read with me. Meaning the backbone or loins hmm. of the man and the ribs. Hmm. So here it's saying, let me check. Hmm. According to Abbas, hmm. it's saying hmm. the backbone of the man and the ribs, the fluid is yellow and fine in texture. Hmm. The child will not be born except from both of them. Hmm. So what's the point now? I have tafsir from Kathiri. Okay, have that's see, wonderful. So, so Tafsir Ibn Kathir is saying that Allah, he created you from a gushing fluid, a sexual gushing fluid, which is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. Now, let me ask you the first question. Do the sperm of the man come in from the backbone? Uh, no, it doesn't come. In. Of course, it comes from the balls, right? From apparent, it comes from the private parts. It, it comes from, from the, the testicles. It comes from the testicles, correct? From the textual, but okay. you know where so why Allah why Allah saying the backbone? There's a big, big difference between the backbone, it's a bone, and it's in the back at the end of your back. So why Muhammad is saying that when this is a very, very bad mistake? You have to ask the science people. I, 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 do you have evidence to disapprove that? My friend, you can go right saying. now again. Anyone can go right now and search in Google where the sperm coming from. I didn't disagree with you. It, it comes from the testicles, but we do not know where it originally the origin of it where okay. the fluid okay. generates ah, okay. you know that so but uh, you know that we okay. have, we have uh, if we go we right now if we go right now let, let us do this so uh, in the front of you hold on this will i'm going i'm me. going to search uh, you know but this, any any but general know website you know where but, the but sperm you worship jesus though. where the sperm right. hold on don't change the topic comes from so which is more logical okay i'm going i'm going are you see i just uh, uh open a website the first website appear in my in, in the front of me where the sperm is coming from and nothing wrong with science we are not speaking dirty this is science all right that's so, not the origin though that's the that, no that's from, you see no this is the, the this is the origin this is the origin this is the origin this is the origin all right this is here by picture this is by picture the science is teaching us where and how the sperm of the man is coming from do you see there in the image anything have to do with the bones of the backbone let me send you the website now. Hmm? Let me send you a website. Let me what? Where can I send you the evidence? Oh, you want to send me an evidence? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. They are telling you where the sperm is coming from, testicles. I don't cetera, disagree cetera, with you. Cetera, cetera. I okay. said I agree with you. Okay. Prince. So what the what, what yes. why you want to send me a website? What the website would do? Read it for us. Go ahead. The website is long. I send you. Okay, it, read for us, read for us. Okay, the, 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 the website of what? About what? The Islam Kuene. Islamic what? I send you the website already on YouTube chat. What this website would do? You read it for us. Tell us what it says. Go ahead. I'm listening. Mm. It's a long discussion, but it means from. Uh, let me see the conclusion. Mm. It says modern science mm. affirms that the water mm. that does not gush and only flows mm. is a secretion from the vagina. Mm. Uh, mm. The sperm is carried by gushing. Mm -hmm. So the, your Islamic science found that women she have a sperm, and it's coming to from. To be her, honest, I don't have knowledge for that, but, but I will check. Okay, you know from, what? Just because you are a nice person, we will change the topic. Can you? I give. I will give you a question I gave to your brother before. And How, you know that I, this will not make me leave Islam. No you problem. We will see. We will see. I I, yeah. I I spoke to many Muslims before. They said to me, "We will never leave Islam." And then they are the first. Even they are they making donation to me now. You believe it or not? Now let me ask you. But that, I will make it. Shamsi easy. said it. He was a fake. I will. So I, I will know. make it. Me. I will make it easy, my friend. Can you tell me anything to prove to me? Like you Muslims, you claim, as an example, you claim that there is many scientific uh, miracles in the Quran. Is that correct? 
uh, but that's not the main message of the Quran. No, no, it is not the main. But your Muslims claim that claim, correct? That there is scientific miracle in the Quran. Yeah, some claim it. Not okay, me. okay. So you believe in that or you don't believe? Of course, yes. There are some okay. sciences. Okay, can you can you give me one any of your choice, the best one about the Quran being a scientific uh, teaching or there's science there? That's why I said it's not the main lesson. No problem, but you, claim, lesson. but you claim, but you just said you agree with them that the Quran contains science. Can you give me one? No, no, I didn't disagree with it. I said the Quran, the main message is to worship. I know, I know. The main God. message that's, is to worship. That, that's my friend, the main thing. My friend, that's the but theme. you just said you agree with them when they say that there's scientific miracles in the Quran. You said this, right? It's not a book of science. Did no problem, no said? problem. But you said you agree with them. You said you agree. Can you show me what you agree about? Show me one miracle you agree upon. I can't remember of it, but you, you can't can remember show one. Me. You can't even remember one. Okay, let's change the topic for you. You see, I'm just trying to help you to prove that your point. Can you prove to us that Muhammad is a prophet of God? As an example, when Muhammad was kissing the black stone, why he was doing that? So, what's your point? Because if Muhammad is against idols, why an idol, anti idol, he kisses stones? That's an act of worship. He's not worshiping. Thank you action. very much, guy. Did you hear it? This is the, the, this uh, we hear it more and more now. Most I'm saying that kissing I black say stones. I say an act of worship. Thank He's you, thank you. Yeah, I, I heard my that, my friend. It is kissing yeah. the stones in Islam. Kissing the stones in Islam is an act of worship. How that can be an act of worship if the stone is a stone? No, 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 no. I remember. Do you remember the statement of Omar? What did what he said? Okay, what Omar said. Go ahead. I know what Omar he, said. Mm. I kiss you. Mm. I uh, he thought he said the the stone. I kiss you because not a. Uh, you are not benefiting me anything, but mm. I saw the messenger of Allah mm. kissing it, so I'm doing it. So he said he, he's not doing it to get a benefit from from kissing it. Mm. So that's not the he's not actually worshiping. So me doing something. Okay. So not Omar, Omar, my friend, Omar, 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 you said, uh, Omar, he said that you stone, you don't, you you are useless, and yes. you are harmless. Yeah, and right? I saw the messenger. Right. Kissing it, so I'm doing it. I really like you, my friend Hassan. I'm going. I'm. I'm. I'm going to call you every day, guys. Look what uh, our friend here he said. He said, Omar. He said, I know that you are a useless st stone, and you cannot do any. There is no benefit from you, and there's no harm from you. Question then. Thank you, Omar, because now Omar he helped us to get Muhammad busted. If the stone is useless and harmless, so the question will go back to you, and now it's getting bigger, and it's more more scary. Omar confirmed that this is a useless stone. It does not harm. It does not benefit anyone. So why yes. Muhammad kiss it? So that's what that's his, 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 his why that's why he did it. That's why. I know, my friend, and you are. This is why you do it too. But nobody of you dare to answer that, Muhammad. Because as long as you are the one who chose this hadith for me, you cannot say to me this is weak, correct? So Muhammad uh, Omar he confirmed that this is a false stone. It is useless, it is harmless, it there's no benefit from it. So, what the benefit of kissing the stone? Nothing. So, why Muhammad kiss it? Oh, you're asking the reason. Yeah, the reason. Uh, if if uh, Omar, my friend, uh, if if Omar confirm that this stone is useless, you said that, right? Everybody heard you, my friend. So it's a useless stone. Okay. It cannot hurt, it cannot help, it cannot harm, it cannot do anything for you. So, why me as a prophet of Allah? I am going to kiss a stone. Oh yeah, yeah. It's here. It's saying kissing any place on earth is so. Let me see. I will not have kissed you. Hence, it's not permissible to kiss the covers of the Kaaba or its stones or the Yemeni corner or the Mushaf or touch them. <laughs> so it's not permissible. Yes, it's not permissible. What not principle? You, you you agree that you know? I my, said my, kissing. My, my friend, my no, no, friend, my friend, my friend, me, my, my, my friend, my, my friend, across. my friend. If Omar, let me repeat the question for you. If Omar said that this stone is useless, it doesn't mm -hmm. benefit, it doesn't harm, which means if he kiss it or not, it would not do anything for me. It is not going to be benefit for me or mankind. It is not going to do any harm. So why Muhammad kiss it? Omar he is kissing it just because Muhammad kiss it. The question is why why Muhammad didn't kiss it if it's useless. So if if you are kissing your your mom forehead, does that mean I worship her? My friend, my friend, my mom is my mom. Is the stone your mom? What kind of logic are you using there? Well, you, this I is your logic. How you compare your mom to a stone exists in the middle of nowhere and you have nothing to do with it? Is it? Are you That's born of the, said, Are you born of the stone? The are you born of the stone? The are you born I of the stone? Are you born the of the stone? Worship. 
let me ask you a question it's innovation it's not it's not acceptable it's, it's not it's, yeah what it's, what's wrong what next uh, uh, it's not acceptable to kiss a stone it's saying here it's not permissible yeah so, what you did is not an act of worship yes what you did is not an act of worship if you kiss the black stone right what did i say i said kissing my mother does not mean a worshiper you yeah, but why? I'm, I'm not talking about your mother. With my respect to her, I'm talking about the stone. Why? why I'm you trying to, kiss the, to stone? use the same logic you're using. No, it's not the same logic. My mother, because I love her, she is a person. She's a human being, and she is the one who gave birth to me, and she is the one who take care of me. And there's, we are a human, you know. So she is a human. I am a human. I'm her son. How you can compare the stone? Is the stone your mother? No. So why you want to kiss the stone? I said it's not act of worship, so that's why I'm saying. My friend, he just my did friend, it. my friend, the kissing your mother is not an act of worship, but you said kissing the stone is an act of worship. You said that already. No, so I didn't say that. You said that. Everybody heard you. You are the one who said kissing the stone is an act of worship. People, they can I go take in it the back video. If I said that. No, I you said that. Back. You can say, oh, you cannot take it back. It's there already. I like, take it we, back. I we put it, it in the warehouse and we look at. We, we put it in the warehouse. It's locked already. It's recorded. So now listen. Now you are okay. taking this is by the way, it's a good sign you are taking it back because now you notice that this is cannot be from God. That's why you want to take it back. I, no, I I like I, that. I can give you the website now. My friend, Where can my I friend, post? what website? Who care about the website? You are taking the explanation it back. Of it. You are you taking it, you are context. taking it back because you just noticed that this is not right. Thank you very much. Let me ask you. Do the black okay, stone. I made a mistake. Yes, do the, yes, do yes, the, I, do I the black, made mistake. Okay, uh, my yeah. friend Muhammad. Uh, are you happy? I made mistake. No problem. No problem. No, no, I'm not happy. I'm here. I'm trying to help you, my friend. I take I'm not, it back. I'm not. I'm back. not here to defeat you. I'm here to help you. Trust me. I'm not against you. Listen. Do you do you think do you think the black stone forgives sin? That's why I say it does not benefit me. Okay, but do you, uh, I want an answer from you. If if somebody because somebody told me that the black stone forgives sin, like if you touch it, it forgives your sin. Is that correct? Let me let me let me explain. He said here it's not permissible to kiss the covers of the Akaba or the Yemeni corner of the Musab to touch it. So Omar actually is saying it's not permissible. Hmm. This is another question I'm asking you. So it's not allowed. If, if so, somebody, if a Muslim, he believed that uh, if you touch the black stone, that will forgive your sin. Is he wrong or right? That's wrong. Wrong. Uh, why you are saying it's wrong? What is your logic? There's no evidence. Okay. What if I show you that your prophet he said that that if you, if you touch the black stone yeah show me the evidence no I'm not I'm not aware no problem I will show you give me a second we will show you my friend I'm here just to show you actually what was the corner black hmm. what was it what was your question? The blacks, you, you would, you, you answer me already. You, you do not know what was my question, and you are, you, you, you answer black me. Black stone or the corner? No, or my, the corner. Black stone, the black stone, and the Yemeni corner. All right. Let us see what your prophet. Here we go. Your prophet said, and this is Sahih. Read carefully with me, and I will show you another hadith too. Abu Abdul Rahman. Uh, uh, it was narrated by Allah, uh, by Ibn uh, uh, Ubaid ibn Omar. Uh, that a man said, Oh Abu Abdul Rahman, why do I only see you touching these two corners? These two corners, there's two corners he is touching. What corner? Let us see. He said, I heard Messenger of Allah says, Touching them erase sin. Oh, touching them erase sin. The black stone, the the black stone and the Yemeni corner. So do you want me to reject that? No, no, I'm asking you. You you are the one who rejected already. You told me it's wrong. You told me the black st the, the stones will not forgive your sin. I said to you, remember, I said, do you think somebody told me that if you touch the stone, it's going to forgive your sin? You said this is wrong. So already you told me your opinion. Now, how your prophet is saying that he is a person who don't worship pagan gods, he don't believe in stones, and yet he believe that if we touch those corners and we go around them seven times, that will make our sin forgiven. Mm. Mm. The chain of narration is, I think it may be, have some defect. I don't know, I have ah, to check it out. So now we have to find a defect in the chain of, okay, no problem, my friend. We can change the hadith for Why you. are you refusing to send me my evidence to you? What do you mean? You're saying you don't want. 
I can send you my evidence, but you, you, you said are, no. My, my friend, you are not sending me any evidence. You know, we're talking about your prophet saying. You are so you want me, me to take? No, 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 no you, you want me to I, take I, the hadith I am not. Value? I am not preventing you. Read for me what it says. I told you to read. No problem. I told you read for us whatever you want. Say whatever you want. Who is stopping you, my friend? Who who is stopping you? This is your prophet saying that. It's not my fault, my friend. I'm showing you what your prophet said. You are showing me an article of somebody he have nothing to do with Islam. Because I am not going to go by Abdul. His name is uh, uh, Shabir Ali, who do not even know how to say his prophet name correctly. If you're a prophet, speak. Everybody have to be silenced because he is the one who come to you with the religion. Unless you want to say to me that the prophet of Islam, he have no idea what he's talking about. Uh, to be honest, I cannot take that hadith at base value. Well, so you know, who, who cares if you, you can take it or not? You know, the hadith is there. It's not wrong. It's approved by Muslims. So you have to take it. It's not up to you. I mean, okay, you don't take it. Who care? You see? And No, no, I said I don't have knowledge of it. No, no, don't no, misquote no me. No problem. Please. Okay, uh, Hassan, you know, I, you sound yeah. like a nice guy. I, I, I like you, actually. You know, you're yeah, like a nice gentleman. Me, but please. this is But this is not what I'm trying to say to you. If your prophet said that, and you don't have knowledge of it, and I show it to you, that is not an excuse. Right? Now you have knowledge of it. And now you notice. Now no, you no, notice. There's context. You see, let me tell you something. Once, at that time I was in the Philippines, I was really sitting in a coffee shop, and for me, I enjoy do what I do. So, I, you know, I was looking in the internet, and I typed the word Islam, and there's a website that's called uh, Convert to Islam something, and they have a chat. And uh, like to help you. So I asked them, a brother, I wanna I have a question for you. They asked me, like, do you are you, are you thinking about converting to Islam? I said, we will see. So I said to them, I have a question which is confusing. Uh, why the prophet he kissed the black stone? The person who is on the other side of the website, he said to me, Because it's holy. I said, Why it's holy? He said, Because the prophet kissed it. <laughs> so are you going to do the same? Are you going to do the same? That's why I said I cannot take, I cannot confirm it. Okay, but but this is proven to us that Muhammad cannot be a prophet who speak for one God. He is a person who is promoting idolism, worshiping idols, because why I want to kiss a stone if I believe in God who is in heaven? Give me a reason. But you worship Jesus. Let me ask you a question. Is Jesus but not a stone? Worship Jesus. Is, is Jesus a stone? No, no, no. He's a man. But you worship uh, okay, a man. Okay, but we believe that God came to us as a man. We don't believe in the man. We don't worship the man. We believe that God came to us in the man. Jesus said you before. You don't worship Jesus? No, we We're worship denying? We worship Jesus, the, the word of God, who came to us in the flesh, but not the man. You see, even Jesus said, he said to, to, to them, everything in heaven and earth is given to me by my father, which means he's telling us, yes, I am a man, but I have the power, which is the power of God. So we don't worship the flesh of the body because Jesus' existence have nothing to do with his birth. Before Abraham, I am. So he is exist before he was born. Some Muslims, they say to us, okay, if you believe in the Trinity, so what happened when Jesus was not born yet? His birth have nothing to do with the Trinity. His death have nothing to do with the Trinity because this is the flesh. God never died. God never died. According to your understanding. My friend, my friend, God never died. So we believe that yes. the Messiah is the word of God who was with God, which is God himself, and he came down to us as a man. So we don't worship the flesh of the man, the flesh is a flesh. We worship God in that man. So Jesus the Christ is the word of God who appeared to us in a form of a man. As it simple as make that. Sense, to be honest. You, you, you see, you are saying to me you don't make sense. Even the Quran confirmed that. Do you want to show you? That, do, you do you want me to show you that Jesus is, a, is the Trinity in the Quran? I understand that I you are referring to. Okay, so the, the Quran confirmed that Jesus is the Word. He is a man, and he is a spirit proceeding from God. Three in one. So what? What doesn't make sense to you? You have to be. Uh, you have to be in denial. Verse? We have to be in denial because if the Quran what's says the he is a three in one, that means there's it's it is. If if Jesus is just a man, he is a three in one. God cannot be a three in one. Let me ask you. Let me ask you, my friend. Let me let me ask you. Let me ask you, my friend. Let me ask you, my friend. Do your do your God have a spirit? Yes, he has his own spirit. Okay. What if I show you that this is not true? Show me. I want go you, ahead. I want you to go right now in Google and type, do Allah have a spirit? And you will see the answer. No. What do you mean spirit? Do you mean the angels or the soul? No, no, no. He, he, he. Spirit, he. he him, him. Is him. So, do he, so you, know, you mean the soul? No, not soul. When I say spirit, is not soul. Soul is something created. When we say spirit, 
that not necessarily to be created so when Allah when I asked you a second ago how you understood my question I told you do Allah have a spirit which mean is he a dead body or he is a person who have a spirit of course he has his own spirit but okay. it's not like us what 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 a surprise for you my friend Hassan that in Islam Muslim believe that Allah has no spirit where does it say that in, in the Quran well, this is what the Muslim says, not me. I'm not saying in the Quran. The Muslim they come with the conclusion. All the Muslims they agree that Allah has no spirit, and you can prove me wrong. You will not find one Islamic sect believe that Allah has a spirit. Now the question will be, how Allah can be God and living God if He have no spirit but He have a body? Let me show you. Just because you might say where you get this from, right? You might say that to me. Okay, hold on. Let me let me find you the reference. Give me a second, please. And I will I will give you the reference. Okay, spirit means soul, man. What are you talking no, about? No, 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 a spirit is not soul, soul is something created. Go to Google now, right now. No, not necessarily. You know, the, the word soul, when you say soul, that God gave you a soul, it depends on the language. Let me read, let me read the you say, my friend, depend, for you. Depend, depend in the language, the word ruh, the word ruh. Some people they translate it as soul, but the fact it is a spirit. However, listen. I'm going to show you. I'm going to go to Islamic website. Read with me carefully. This is a Muslim website, not my website. Islam question and answer. He is debating with a Christian asking, Does God have a spirit? Look like this is me. One of you, he went to the internet and he said, well, I'm uh, I got busted by a guy. His name is a Christian prince. Look like it. And he said to me, he said to me. Do Allah has a spirit? The answer? No. Uh, what's, you can what read, are you, you can this is the whole article, you can read it. Allah is no. not a spirit, he has no spirit. So you Muslims believe in a God who is not spiritual, he has no spirit at all. So how oh, God the can, spirit so, the spirit is referring so, to angel. So no, no, no. I'm not talking about angel, about Allah Himself. Do he have a spirit? I'm not talking about the angel. My friend, the question is very simple. A spirit is what makes you my alive. friend yes, yes thank you very much guys did you, did you hear this a spirit what, what makes make you, you what make you alive thank you you're getting smarter now spirit what so make what, what make you what make you alive okay that means allah is not alive because he have no spirit i didn't say how allah have. how allah can be a living god but he is not a spirit and he has no spirit Uh, I have to read the article. I don't know what's where. I have to read the, the whole article to understand the subject. Well, yeah, I, I, will, I will send you the article. I will post it in the text so everybody can read it. And you will see that the Muslims, your Muslims confirm that Allah is not. For argument's spirit. sake, let's say he has it. So what's your point? My my uh, my point is Allah have a physical body, but that body have no no life. You are the one who said to me, having spirit is mean you're alive. Thank you. So yeah, Allah, that's, Allah, that's why I said it's not like us. No problem, like no us. problem. No, no, no. You see, when, when Allah, we, we, we have an agreement that God has no spirit in Islam. That's wonderful. So, God is not like us. It doesn't matter if he's you like us get... or not. Who cares? Who cares, my that's friend? That's what I'm who, saying. He's different who care, from his who care, creation. Who, 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 no, that's he not, has his. That is has, not. Let, that, let me finish my point. That, I said he that, has his my own friend, soul. My friend. The way it suits his. his this is not. His, this his is, we are not talking about a soul. You said the spirit. You see? Okay, let me ask you. Do your God even know what the word spirit mean? Spirit can mean different meanings. It has meaning. Different. No, but do your God knows what the word spirit mean? He refers to angels. Do, but he do. Do he knew that the word or the spirit, what the spirit mean? Spirit has different meaning. Let me explain to you. It means explain angels. It can mean also your soul. Okay. What do you want me to explain to that? Where, where do you get this conclusion that the spirit mean angels? I can go to the Quran right now. Go ahead. I'm listening. Read with, Read with me carefully. Chapter no, sixteen. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Let's address this one. No problem. Said, I show you the evidence you asked me. Can you, can you, my, my, my friend? Can yes. you give me? Can you give me a minute? I want, I want to make some tea. My, my throat is dry. Is it okay? Okay. All right. Uh, guys, yes, just give me, just give me a minute, guys. I'm going to, uh, uh, to make a tea. All right. See, I don't have anybody to make tea for me. Hmm.
Just a second, guys. I'm getting the tea ready. Anyone want some more tea? It's halal tea. You remember the same page? Hello? All right. <clears throat> Go ahead, uh, Hassan. I'm listening, my friend. So you say the the angel Jibreel is is not referred to spirit. Nowhere in the Quran it says that Jibreel is a spirit. Go to the same page that you showed me earlier. What what chapter? What chapter you want? Go ahead. Uh, she placed. I said your spirit can have three meanings. It means my friend what soul, what what your, chapter you want me to read go ahead so go to uh oh, let me the same page i got lost there you can't find the verse I'm very sure, man. I don't have the. I can't quote exactly where it is, but you know, there is something about this guy, Christian Prince. How he knew all the Quran. I mean, this is really crazy. And you are the Muslim, but you do not know. Mm, we need to call Zakir Naik. Anyway, I don't have the evidence. Right okay, now, my friend. So you see, you are the one you. who said to me, "I'm going to show you." Let me show you something. The Quran. If I don't have it now, it you see, it you, see mean, you see, Muslims, you see Muslims. You see, you see Muslims, my friend. You Muslims. You try to find a conclusion to make you believe that even the Holy Spirit is Jibreel, correct? But there is it no, but, I say but, but there is, but there is no way. There is no way. There is nowhere in the Quran it says that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. Nowhere. All right. But, but you have to come to a conclusion to say etc. But look, read with me carefully. The Arabic word is Ruh. I know what the Arabic word. Arabic is my first language. This is why my English is funny. Read with me carefully. Yes, yes. Oh, you do not know Arabic. To arrij al malaikatu wa al ruhu ilayhi fi yom kan miqdaruhu khamsina alfa sana. Chapter seventy, verse number four. Translation: The angels and the spirit scanned into him. Okay, if the angels are a spirit, and you Muslim, you say Jibreel is a spirit. So why Allah making differentiation between the angels and the spirit? Show sure, respect. Respect to who? Jibreel. I don't respect Jibreel. Who is Jibreel? Do you respect According Jibreel? According to Islam, we respect him, yes. We, this is your religion. This is not my religion. You know, it, it, even the name That's is... why I said the, the ayah is constructed like that. Allah to show him that angel Jibreel is the highest Where? of among them. He's respected Where? among Where it the says, angels. Is, is Jibreel is an angel or not? You know Arabic very well, yeah? My friend, is Jibreel an angel or not? He's among the angels. Yes, okay. that's why I so, said. So, uh, uh, does it say there that the angels and the spirit they will go up to Allah? I said the word spirit here means angel Gabriel. What do you want me to say? My friend, the spirit and the angels. If the angels are a spirit, then we should not say the angel and the spirit. That's what did I say? I gave you definitions of Ruh. Ruh can take angel Gabriel hmm. and, and my friend, and I understand, I understand, but if the angel himself is a ruh. Then we should not say the angels and the ruh because he is a ruh. There's no point. No, the Arabic he said wal malaika to war ruh, meaning yeah. the angels and ruh. Ruh here is referring to angel Jibreel specifically. No, my friend, my general. friend, my friend. Okay, hold on, hold on. If this is about Jibreel, re re read with me carefully. 
Uh, it's not general. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. You're cutting let, me off. Let me ask you a question. Are I'm you saying? Off. Are you saying each time Allah He said the word ruh, He means Jibreel? Not all times. Not all time. How we will know when He know Jibreel when He mean not Jibreel? It's a general. Okay. I said now did, here in this context. Did your prophet? Did, uh, uh, okay. Uh, listen. Did your prophet call Jesus Ruhullah? Again, it can take another definition. I told you what, I what, is, you it, what is the definition when when Muhammad he called Jesus Ruhullah? What does that mean? A created being. What? It's a created being. That's why he used no, the word Ruh. No, Muhammad is his he's not Ruhullah. Adam is not Ruhullah. No, bro. Abraham. As I give you I Ab you Abraham, Abraham, Abraham is not Ruhullah in Islam. There's only one person in Islam. His name is Ruhullah. You don't understand my point again. Mm -hmm. can, yeah. you, can you let me explain to what I'm saying? Let, well, hold on. You see, it, it look like you want me to explain. You can explain. You already or you told me you, you are just making a conclusion that a ruh. No, I'm not making. I just told okay. you in this context of ayah, mm -hmm. you can see the clearly Arabic. Okay. Wal we know the English word means angel. Mm -hmm. A ruh here in this ayah, in this context, it mm -hmm. means angel Jibreel specific. Hmm. So it's like me telling you, give me the apples, but hmm. give me the apples from the green one. Hmm. That that that, hmm. that doesn't mean hmm. that okay. it's not amongst amongst the, the oh, apples. All right, my friend. L let us let us see. Let us see. Another what? definition. Let me finish my point. Another definition. It can take ruh is a created being, hmm. a created being. Hmm. So in Allah, another eye he refers to Jesus hmm. a ruh. Hmm. Okay. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me ask you. Let me you ask know you. that. Let me ask you. you know that? Is Jibreel is is Jibreel holy? According to Islamic belief, yes. Okay. If Jibreel did Jibreel commit any sin? No. All right. Don't bring weak narration, yeah. Read with me this uh, chapter. I will show you in the screen. You get so far my point, man. I get your point, but your I point, your, 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 your point, your point is, is funny. Chapter fifteen, it's verse right. number twenty-nine, my friend. Chapter cha chapter fifteen, verse number twenty-nine. It says, "فَإِذَا سَوَيْتَهُ وَنَفَخْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي." Allah is saying, "From my spirit, where Allah He breathed from His spirit." Is that is that mean He breathed from Jibril? Uh, that means His the action. Who's doing the action? Is God is doing the Allah? Action. Allah is the one. Allah is talking. the one who's yeah. doing the action. Yeah? When I have finished Him, so, I breathe into Him from my spirit. Okay, the spirit here, which Allah He breathed from, is that His spirit or this or, or Jibril? What did I say? I said the soul is what keeps someone alive, and God has my the friend, specific my friend, soul. My friend, no. According to Islam, I showed you the reference. Allah, the God of Islam has no spirit. So now, Allah, where He got this? According spirit? to you, not me. Not according to me, my friend. Here we go. I, I posted the link for you. You can open it, and they are confirming that Allah has no spirit. Allah, don't make don't don't, say that. don't don't make me repeat myself again, please. You know. Allah has no spirit. Period. Allah has no spirit. I'm not. I'm not making things up. You know. I'm, How I'm, can he be alive then? Well, you, I, I don't know. This is what you believe. This is not my business, my friend. That's illogical. This is not my friend. Uh, that's not that's my not business. That's not my belief. Don't lie. Don't okay. Lie, here don't we lie. go. Okay. Okay. I, I want you. I, I'm going to send you the link, in Skype. All right. Show the people. Show the people I'm exactly where. Okay. okay. No, no. Highlight. Highlight okay, it. Show okay, here that we go. where okay. it says mm. that. All right. All right. It does right. not refer to Rome. All right. All right. It does all, not refer all right. To all right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, you know Arabic, stop playing. My, my, friend, my, my friend, my friend, let me show you. Okay, you are I using have... general statement to specific. No problem. Yes. Okay, mm. you are doing taqiyah 101. Man. <laughs> you see, you just you just prove to us that Islam is a false religion. You are accusing me to use taqiyah, which is a, which is yeah, Allah teaching. I give you, which I give is Allah you my teaching. position. What which Allah, which is Allah teaching. Uh, uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Highlight, highlight, highlight. Okay. Let the viewers see. Okay, 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 okay. Here, I like where it's okay, hold on, hold on. Look, let's see what it says that Allah has no ruh. All right, and why are you using Arabic because you, you don't want your Christian people what to, we to, say? To is to you? Oh, okay, I see. Highlight for me, highlight for me, please. please. Read, read carefully, highlight. read carefully. Stop talking like I like for me. I can't see it. Look like text, a woman man. in the bread net and bread net in the delivery room. The I spirit, say highlight. Don't the spirit, the spirit or soul is not one of the attribute of Allah. 
rather it is one of things that have been created by Allah do you see it so it's mentioned that spirit of source is not one of the attributes of Allah hmm. did you see it you insist you get yourself busted here you go I got you what you want okay for argument's sake I agree with you go, let's, no not let's for go. argument's sake this is what it says don't tell me for argument. argument don't sake. lie don't pray taqiyya now this what it says sake. does it say that or not what did I say? I said spirit is what keeps someone alive. Okay, yes. Allah, but Allah does not have a spirit. No, it is not spirit or soul. They did not give you a choice. Neither spirit, neither soul is one of the attribute of Allah. Do you agree with him or not? Uh, let's go to the next one. The bus you are saying. This is the conclusion. This is the whole article about it. I don't agree with him. No, okay, you, can you prove me wrong that Allah has a spirit? Can you give me a website, Islamic website says Allah has a spirit? Yes. Give it to no, me. Let's go to the, uh, no, 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 no. You see, here, here, I don't like Muslims to play games, and I. That's, that's what, what I, I do. For argument's when, sake, I when you, you, when you, no, 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 next... not for argument's sake. I, you need to prove oh, me wrong. Man. Then you need to prove me. You see, we don't let things go, my friend. We have to finish it. As long you are saying for argument's sake, that's mean you don't agree with me. Then you have to give me the proof. I give you my proof from Islamic website. This is the sheikh speaking. Now, give me a sheikh saying yes, Allah has a spirit. I challenge you. I will wait for you for the coming 10 hours. Do you think guys, is that fair? Do you think that is fair? Do you think that is fair? I showed you the proof that Allah has not nothing, he has no spirit, neither a soul. It is not one of his attributes. Period. I so Allah to, I have to I have to verify. Not everything is no no no. Is, don't is, tell me who is who is stopping you from verifying a second ago. You were challenging me, saying to me, highlight it, highlight it, highlight it. Don't play taqiyya, highlight it. You are the one who insists to go back, and I did. Highlight it where it says that you're playing taqiyya. You're playing taqiyya. You accuse me to be a Muslim like you, which means okay, I lie. Me which means I lie. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> uh, to be honest, I, I cannot agree with that, man. I have to confirm. I have to ask someone. I don't care if you agree or not. You have to prove me wrong, my friend. You are here. Go research and go. Well, go ahead. I'm listening. That's why I said, according to my knowledge right now, I cannot. I cannot. According say yes. to your knowledge, you have no knowledge. Is that what you are saying to me? No, no, no. So you want me to blind follow everyone? No, 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 no. You are okay. saying to me, according to my knowledge, I have no knowledge. Okay. Let. Yes, I agree. Okay, with you. I don't so have knowledge of that, that is better. According to his knowledge, he have no knowledge. Let us go back to zero now. So how Allah here he say that when I fashioned him, I breathed into him my spirit. What is the spirit Allah he breathed into Adam? What is that? My spirit. Let me ask you something. So you are saying if if God if our Allah does not have soul, he that means he's dead. You are is the one. You, isn't, isn't it you huh? who said to me, "Spirit mean life"? No, you have life. You question directly. Isn't it you? Isn't question, it you? But... Isn't it you who said to me, "Spirit mean uh, mean life"? I'm asking you. I'm asking you a question. My I friend, say, you are asking that... me a question. I'm answering you. Aren't you the one who said to me, "Spirit mean life"? Okay, I agree uh, with that. Spirit mean life. So your God has no life. Let me speak. Let, let me speak. Your now. God has no life. Spirit mean life. It, a living time to speak. any living being have have a spirit god is a spirit we believe that god himself is a spirit not only he has a spirit he is a spirit oh, man. i told you according to your logic that the thing if god our if allah does not have a soul that means he's a dead that's he, according he to has no reason. spirit he has no life he has no spirit that means our allah is dead according to your reasoning oh, okay uh, that doesn't make so, sense. Somebody told me that uh, Mr. That doesn't make sense. Hold on, hold on. Somebody told me that Muhammad Hijab is in the chat. Mr. Muhammad, are you there? Muhammad Hijab? Yeah. Mr. Muhammad, do you want to call us? You're talking to me or who? No. Are you Muhammad Hijab? No, I'm not Muhammad Hijab. Well, I don't know. Somebody told me that Muhammad Hijab is here. So if he is... Is he, is he on the comment section now? Well, if you like to call me... I don't know. This is him. We can, can cut me off. No, no, no hold on, hold on. Let, let us be sure. Back. Let us be sure because it might be fake. Let, let us be sure. I said, according to your logic, you said that if our Allah does not have soul, that means he's a dead. 
He does, well, he's not, well, he's not well yeah, him. you know, if God, if God is God. That's your then, conclusion. That's your conclusion. No, my That's friend, my friend. Okay, you are I'm the sorry. one, not my conclusion. Isn't it you who said to me that the spirit me alive? But why are you supporting my, my Allah if you don't believe I'm him? not supporting, you supporting your Allah. I am agreeing with you that the word is oh, spirit me alive. Saying, you are the one who said conclusion. to me. You are the one who said to me that the spirit me alive. I agree with that. According to a soul cannot be observed. First of all, it's something that spirit. <laughs> okay, I am like asking you now. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Yeah, and I gave when, you. I when say, Allah, when Allah, He breathed into the mud. What my spirit mean? He breathed into the mud from His spirit. Can, what does that mean? I can go to Tafsir now. Uh, give me the verse and the chapter. All right. This is. Uh, this this chapter? is a ch chapter 15 verse number 29 uh, give me a minute hmm. chapter 15 15 29 29 let me go let the scholars decide now all right i'm not you're not scholar also do you know that maybe yeah everything happened you, you said uh, a bus hmm? The verse, the chapter 15, yeah. verse number 29. 29. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Let's see what's in the, the commentary of Tafsir ibn Kathir. Man, it's very long. I have to read all of it, the context. I don't know. No, it's not long. It's very short, actually. The Arabic is very long. The English is very I'm important. using my source. I said I'm using Tafsir ibn Kathir. I have Ibn Kathir in front of me. It we just... use Qurtubi always, man. Weak narration. No, my friend, this is Ibn Kathir. Al Qurtubi is weak narration. All right. Yeah, correct. And usually short Arabic so that you can lie to your Christians. I don't know. Man. So you agree with Ibn Kathir when he said that the women have a sperm coming from the ribs? Uh, show me the tafsir of Nikatir. Let uh, don't change the topic. Show me the tafsir of Nikatir. It's in the front of you on the screen. The creation of Adam. What did he say? It's in the front creation. of you. So where is the commentary of the eye? The eye. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I want the commentary of tafsir of Nikatir. What the commentary? What do you mean? I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Commentary means like. The you commentary. The I'm showing you the commentary. Here we go. I'm showing you. This is the, this is what they have there. You go to Ibn Kathir, chapter 15, verse number 29. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir, my friend. Okay, chapter 15, chapter 15. Here we go in front of you. And when you click here, they are not showing 29 because suppose it start from 29 all the way to 34. So we click in it. It shows shows this. Here we go. 20, Why don't you read? 15, 28. It doesn't say anything about what we are talking about. Stupid tafsir. So he, he doesn't say he doesn't say anything. Doesn't say anything. Read it. Here we go. It's in front of you. Do you see anything? Show me. Teach me. Uh, let me check mine. I don't know what's in. <laughs> uh, man, right from. Ah, uh, he's saying my spirit, the soul which I created for him. That's brackets. Where where it says that. I have the I'm reading from Tafsir. I can send you the website if you want. Okay, send me. How come this it's website? My spirit, uh, mm. comma, uh, mm. brackets, mm. the soul which I created for him. This is translation for the verse, right? Yes. This is not a big Kathir. This is false translation. It doesn't say, it doesn't say they are the soul I created. Should, You're using it's... different version. No, no, I can my, send my, you friend, the my friend, when somebody add the add bracket, it means this is his own idea putting it there. The Quran doesn't say that. So that so you you're gonna disagree with the scholars so or commentary? Are you what a scholar? scholar? Who is a scholar? Ibn Kathir doesn't say that. This is Ibn, Ibn Kathir. Kathir is not a scholar. Ibn Kathir doesn't say mm -hmm. that. Where where Ibn Kathir did say that? Where? He put it in the bracket. The soul which where, I created where, where, for him. Where 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 here we go. Where 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 where? Do you want me to give you the you you're gonna use your own version or do you want me to give you My the friend, website? I can. Okay, give me now. the website. Let me write it over. Give me the website. Where can I post it on on uh, the comment section? Uh, okay. You can post it in the comment. No problem. Because I don't, I don't know how to use this thing. The WhatsApp. How how can I post on on your Skype? My friend, you is, is that website in the front of me is Islamic or this is fabricated? This is Quran X. Do you see? That's it? why I said I have my own version. I can show you if you allow me to okay. give you the evidence. Sh shall we go to the Arabic one? Shall we go to the Arabic one? My Arabic is not at the highest level. Okay, so what we would so do? I, hmm. He said bracket the soul which I created for him. 
of my spirit I can send you the website if okay, you want okay. I'll, I will go with you you see in the front of me it doesn't say that but that is say it says that why but, why you only uh, uh, allowing me not to send you the website the evidence my friend send it to me in Skype you can send it to me in Skype go ahead in Skype oh I can send as a message yeah yeah uh, let me let me click the I uh, can send you now the link They are lying to you, my friend, in the translation. This is why they put it between the bracket. That's the translation of Tafsir of Nukathir, not my mine. friend. Correct, but but are you a scholar? My friend, my friend, when the translator, you are not scholar. who Abdul, are you to say? Abdul, when the translator he put it between two brackets, it's made Nukathir did not say that. Otherwise, you tell me why it's, why it's between two bracket? Why it's between two bracket? Do you know what? Have you ever studied what translation means? Translation. If you want to add something to explain more, you put it between two bracket to say. I am explaining to you more. It doesn't say that. So what you are saying in front of you, if, if it is there, this is not what Ibn Kathir said. It is the translator between it with two, two brackets. Same as we go in the Quran right now, and we read that the translation, you will see that the Muslim, when they translate, they put things between two brackets. You see, here as an example, chapter, the, the verse number 32, it says Allah said, but in the Arabic it doesn't say Allah. Why the translator he did that? Why, but, but why, why Allah? Being... Why Allah? His why the verse saying Allah between two brackets? Because in the, in the Arabic version there's no Allah, but he want to explain to you that Allah is the one who said. So he put it between Allah, and then he said, Iblis said, but Iblis is not mentioned there in that verse. So he put it between two brackets to make you understand that this is what's what. The, what's the verse again? Oh. My I'm friend, sorry. how many times I need to kill you the verse? I suppose that you are opening the website and you are in Ibn Kathir now, and now we will go back to zero? 33, 33, yes. Just, just go. Next. Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Allah has no spirit. All Muslim scholars agree. Allah is a dead body. He have. He is a physical being. You are worshipping an idol. This gentleman Hassan, he said that Allah, uh, he, when I asked him about spirit, he said spirit means life. That's wonderful. Allah has no spirit. Hello? Please mute, uh, mute you too, Mr. Rahman. Hello. Assalamu alaikum, Rahman. Hi. Assalamu alaikum. I said, why you say hi? I don't. Uh... You don't say assalamu alaikum to Christian, right? Because the Prophet, he was a very nice person. He forbid you from saying assalamu alaikum to non-Muslims. Okay, welcome, sir. All right. So, what do you want to say to us, Mr. Rahman? Um, so, Muhammad, I mean, Muhammad Hijab, he said something about um, pray when it says in the Quran, hmm. God prays for the Prophet. Hmm. Um, apparently, praying here means blessing. What's okay. your opinion on that? Okay, so you are saying that uh, what his name, uh, Muhammad Hijab, was wrong when he said that, when he said pray for? I hear two sides. I hear that some say it's actual praying, others say that it's just a blessing. No, no, and, and, and I'm asking you, you as a Muslim, when Muhammad Hijab, he said pray for, not pray to. Do you agree with him when he said pray for or this is wrong? I think he said, he said pray for. That's what I heard. Yeah, but is it wrong? I'm not sure. Okay, well, you see, today I saw a person who is supposedly trying to uh, <clears throat> uh, to prove to us uh, that our idea of praying is wrong. But sadly, the Muslims they forgot that Muhammad Hijab himself he made a new video trying to explain to us what pray on mean. You see, the verse says, "You saluna ala nabi or sallu ali." If you if you go in the verse, let us see. Let us go. No, the search engine is not working. Okay. In Allah, who am I? I can you saw Luna and Nabiya. You had a dinner. I'm no solo. I leave you a salimu to slima. Mr. Hijab, he said. This verse means that Allah, he pray for 
not he pray to all right pray for not pray to uh, as long Muhammad hijab he agree that Allah he pray for that mean Allah he pray now you came with different conclusion against what Muhammad hijab said pray for is Muhammad statement or Muhammad hijab statement you said blessing correct correct all right it's in what you say that mean that Allah and the angels they are doing a blessing to the Prophet do you agree yep okay but my friend if God he blessed me already what the angels would do what did, what is the word blessing come from It's in the uh, multiple translations. No, 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 no. I'm not saying I'm not saying the word uh, the, uh, the word in English. I'm saying uh, when 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 you get a blessing, you get it from who? You get it from the angel or you get it from God? Who is the one who bless us? Um, the gods, angels. No, angels cannot. Only God. You agree? Okay. So now, how the angel? Are going to do blessing in the same time with Allah make it simple for you if God he said to me Christian Prince I blessed you do I need other blessing from anyone anyone can do better anyone can increase my blessing no correct because God already blessed me are you following with me my friend yeah I'm okay. okay so if Allah said to me and he is God and he said okay you are a blessed so what the angels would do? Nothing. What the human being would do? Nothing. I'm blessed by God. Who, who cares about the rest? Right? Yeah. Okay. But th that's mean there's a mistake here. Because if this is a blessing, then Allah and the angels and the believers, all of them, they are sending blessing on me. As if the believers can add a blessing to the blessing of Allah, they cannot. As if the angels can add a blessing to the, to the blessing of Allah, they cannot. Because the blessing only comes from God. No human being can bless you. You see, when I say to my to, to my brother in Christ, I say to him, bless you. I am just saying a short sentence, which is, may God bless you, because only God bless us. No angel can bless you, no human, no prophets. All they ask God for a blessing. If I ask my mother, my mother bless me before I leave the house, she is not really the one who is blessing me. She is asking God, supplicate to God, may God bless my son. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. Okay, so here then, when when they say to you that Allah in that Allah and the angels they are doing a blessing and the prophet, there's a contradiction because angels cannot do blessing. I get it. Yeah. All right. Now the word in Arabic is yusalli, correct? Yeah. Muhammad hijab. He said, "Pray for," which means he confirmed that the word there in Arabic is pray. Okay, that's wonderful. At least he's being honest. Now, praying for, in fact, in Arabic, it does not say pray for. He is just being ignorant in Arabic. In Arabic, it says ala. Do you know what ala mean? No. Nope. Ala in Arabic mean on. On. Not for. Okay, so okay. pray on. Pray on. So, ala, this word here, mean on. Let us... Let us come to a conclusion that Allah and in Allah wa malaikatahu Allah and his angels yusallun pray on the prophet how Allah can be God and yet he and the angels are praying on Muhammad and you see in Arabic yusallun is not pray it's praying it's I in G do you notice here there is something wrong? Yeah, it looks quite suspicious. Okay, let me let me explain to you more, my friend. When I say Allah and the angels are praying on the Prophet, that's mean there is a need for continued prayers. Otherwise, why Allah will keep praying? You know what I mean? Pray ying I in G. Okay. So that's mean 
even if Allah he praying for Muhammad you know he needs to do praying which means continue prayer look like the praying of Allah or let us say the words of Allah are not eternal so he's afraid that his word his praying is not going to be answered so he keep praying when I say you see when I say I send you a blessing God do not need to bless me one million time if you bless me I'm blessed but when we use the ing it means there's an action of continue request involved in that story and that continue request is praying using ing now if Allah is the God and he is doing pray and ing which means continue praying why he need to continue let us say for the sake of argument it's a blessing as you said in the beginning if Allah bless me what the ing for I'm blessed anybody can steal my blessing which the which God gave me nobody correct if I'm blessed it's a decision God he make and if God he say be is going to be do I agree my friend yeah okay so how and why Allah and the angels both of them they do the same act praying on Muhammad regardless if a praying is for Muhammad as hijab said or even a blessing on Muhammad as you said in the beginning it doesn't make sense in both situation because Allah is God and God the Quran even the Quran said you see when when uh, this uh, hijab he was debating uh, wood he said something very funny which which proved Islam to be false but because David Wood is not a debater David Wood is a person who make a lecturer but not a debater if I was there I will I will I will put immediately hijab in the corner and he will be sorry for saying that he said that uh, the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam quoting the Quran how in the method Isa in the law كمثل آدم خلقه من تراب ثم قال له كن فيكون chapter 3 verse number 59 the similarity between Adam uh, uh, or Isa and Adam is the same uh, how he created them read with me the similitude of Jesus before Allah as that of Adam he created him from dust then he said to him be and he was do you see the verse my friend yeah okay now let me ask you a question did Allah created Adam by saying be yeah no he did not if if you were watching the guy who was speaking to me before you we were asking him about Allah he breathed into the fashion of Adam he breathed into him all right he breathed into him okay let's go there go you see Allah he did not really create Adam in such a way never he breathed he fashioned Adam let's go a little bit read carefully with me chapter 15 verse number 29 when I have fashioned him and I breathe into him so how Allah created Adam he fashioned mud if you read the, the verse before it behold the Lord said to the angels I am about to create a man how he created them read carefully from sounding clay from mud modeling into a shape so what is the first thing Allah he do supposedly in this story here he brought dust he mix it with water then he fashioned a modeled which is a shape will come to be a shape shape of a human and then after I have fashioned him to the way I want him to be I breathe into him so Allah did not say be and he was it was a process of making that's mean the verse in the Quran saying that the similitude of Jesus the same as Adam he said to him be and he was is a lie are you getting my point yeah 
because Adam he was not created by saying be to him not only that if you go in the Quran you will see that the Quran said that Adam he was in rush Ajula Chapter 17, verse number 11. Do you know what? Do you know what this verse mean? Ajula, do you know what Ajula mean? Oh. Ajula, Muhammad, he claimed that when Allah he was creating Adam, Adam he asked Allah to finish him before the sunset. He said to him, uh, Allah, please finish me before the sunset. So if we go to the interpretation, just to show you, I'm not the one who's saying that. This is what you're, you know, you almost always believe in that. Read carefully with me. And Allah tells about the man has how he some sometime prays against himself or children, etc. And then he continues saying, and where, uh, 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 and the man ever has to. Salman al Farisi, which is the companion of the, your prophet, said that Ibn Abbas mentioned the story of. Adam, when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet, when his soul was breathed into him, it entered his body from his head downward. When it is reached his brain, he sneezed. Hachoo! Hachoo! And by the way, this is true. I know I, I, I am an Arab and all of us there, we sneeze a lot. You know? And say it, Alhamdulillah. Here we go. Adam is not even made. He speaks Arabic. I mean, see? Amazing. It's a miracle. Alhamdulillah. And Allah said to him, May your Lord have mercy on you, Adam. Then when it reached his eyes, he opened them. Who? Adam. And when it reached his body and the limbs, he started to stare at them like, what the heck? What is that? He's looking at his feet like, what is that? In wonder, it's like, like what? What is this? He wanted to get up before it reached his feet, but he could not. So he said, oh Lord, make it happen before the night comes. And here we notice that everything Muhammad Hijab he said when he was debating David Wood is nothing but a lie because Adam is not the same as Jesus and Adam was not created by saying to him be and was it took him a lot of time even Adam is worried that the night might set or the night might come and yet Allah is not finished he's so slow so Allah he fashioned a mud he mixed water with, with dust making mud then he fashioned the mud in the shape of a man and then after he fashioned the man he breathed into him and even the breathing is taking forever to download so the verse where it says that Allah he said that the similarity between Adam and Jesus is the same he created them from dust that's false secondly Jesus was not the created from dust you see the only one was created from dust is Adam and then Eve created from Adam so another mistake in the Quran when the Quran says that Adam and Jesus both of them are from mud and he said to them be Because even in the story of Jesus Allah did not say to Jesus be and he was He breathed into Mary vagina And he made her breath in it. Where, where is the word be? Correct Did Allah breathe? Into Mary Are you with me my friend? Yeah, okay so all the story is a fabrication. Everything they say is a fabrication. Allah cannot create it. He cannot be the one who created Adam. He cannot be the one who created Jesus as he claimed. And he cannot be the one who we speak about that he can be God because he is praying on Muhammad. Why? You know, the, the, the Muslim, they say to us, okay, how Jesus is God, but yet he prayed to the Father. And this is what the Trinity is about. Trinity is about three persons. In one, the son speaking to the father. When Allah he pray, he pray to who? There is no answer. If Allah is sending a blessing, how the angels and the and the human they can do the same as the act of Allah? It's impossible. If Allah send the blessing, why he is saying I in G? You saw Luna al Nabi. You see what happened in Islam. Muhammad he made himself the center of the universe. To the point he want us to believe that God and the angels and everybody he is praying busy praying on one person his name is Muhammad everybody is praying on Muhammad you name it 
there's not even one single person don't pray on Muhammad why because Muhammad is the center of the earth I will give you another example let me ask you a question uh, uh, my friend if a prophet of if a prophet of God have a fight with his wife should he call 911 should he call Jibreel should he call Allah for help or he should fix his problem inside his house I think he should talk to his wife really okay look what happened in the Quran just to show you that Muhammad is the center of the universe chapter 66 verse number four I hope you are seeing my screen with me my friend are you do you see the screen yeah, yeah. all right and this is your Muslim translation I'm not a Muslim I'm not translating to you I'm showing you what is there read carefully with me two of the wives of Muhammad they have a strike why because Muhammad is a bad person and Muhammad he needed help obviously those two women are so aggressive and Muhammad cannot fight them so look what happened Muhammad he told them Allah told me if ye turn in repentance to him your heart are indeed so inclined but if you're back each other against him truly truly Allah is his a protector and Jibreel who, who, who hold on Allah is his protector is Allah is enough to protect Muhammad no the list to continue and Jibreel and every righteous Muslim and furthermore all the angels all of this because Muhammad is having a fight with two women they are his wives do I need all of those to support me in a fight with two women they are five foot tall the enemy you just named for us supposedly can destroy the whole universe I am fighting with my wife and now I tell my wife if you uh, became a partner against me guess what guess who is going to support me Allah will support me oh, Allah is not enough they are not scared yet okay not scared from Allah and every Muslim uh, they are not scared yet let me scare them more and Jibreel Jibreel do you know Jibreel he has 600 wings uh, not scared yet okay all the angels too I mean who's left who is left not involved in this fight Allah every righteous 1.4 billion Muslim including you my friend every Muslim in the world and Allah and Jibreel and every angel is involved in fighting with two females they are five foot tall what do you say that's quite um quite interesting uh, do you where did you get that from which chapter and verse it's in the Quran my friend it's in the Quran in front of you do you um, do you which, see do, you don't you don't see the the screen my friend you see the screen or not yeah, I do. Um, which chapter and verse okay. is it? Chapter 66, verse number four. Okay. Thanks. Chapter of At-Tahreen. So, my friend, do you really, what do you think after I said to you this? I mean, do you think really this is going to be a, a prophet of God? Um, you've raised some interesting um, questions. No, I want, you, have, um, I want you to be honest. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's quite, um, it's quite weird and, um, it, it does make me ask some questions about what I believe in now. Okay, my friend, listen, listen, you sound like a very decent man, and really, I am enjoying talking to you. You see, I don't know how old are you, but uh, age is not really what makes us mature, it is how we think. I want you to tell me, as long already you have a doubt about Islam, I can't tell. What is making you stay as a Muslim? Give me a reason to stay as a Muslim. I think, um, probably it's it's like a, it's like a, my family's identity etc okay. and uh, okay it's okay. just it's like this mental block that all right but my, it's kind of but impossible my, but my friend my friend you are smart enough to make a decision you see abraham one day his family they used to worship idols even the quran supposed he says that correct right okay so should Abraham stay with his family and then go to hell? Or he should leave his family? I'm not saying leave and leave them. I mean, don't talk to them, no. I'm saying leave their, his family faith and save himself. Should we throw ourselves in hellfire just because my family, they believe in something wrong? Obviously, I can tell that in your heart, 
there's nothing is convincing you you just told me it's just because of a family thing now so why do you want to stay as a Muslim you leave True. Islam and you try your best to convince them to leave Islam too you see let me show you something additional to what you said as long as we mention Abraham a prophet of God he should not say stupid things and we mentioned many many stupid things and by the way I'm not insulting I'm just saying what I believe when Muhammad you know when Muhammad he mentioned speak about Abraham because we spoke about Abraham and then Muhammad he said the following about Abraham وَإِذَا قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ آزَرَ أَتَتَّخِذُ أَصْنَامًا آلِهَةً Okay, translation. Chapter 6, verse number 74. Lu Abraham said to his father, Azar, look here at the pupu Muhammad he did. Muhammad do not know Aramaic. And he thought that this word, Azar, is the name of the father of Abraham. So he did not change it. He keep it in Arabic. He keep it as it is in Aramaic. Do you know what Azar mean? No. Azar is a word mean foolish. So what Muhammad, the false prophet, he said, he thought that Azar is the name of the father of Abraham. Why? Because he did not know what it's mean. He thought this is okay. The book he's reading from, it's a foreign language. He did not know. It's a mix with Arabic. And there it says other Azar. Okay, he said to his father, What Azar? So he thought, Oh, this is must be the name of the father of Abraham. But Azar is a word mean foolish. Abraham saying to his father, Foolish, are you going to worship idols? And that makes sense. Or fool. You know, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Are you being fool? This is foolish. Imagine that Muhammad he thought that this is the name of the father of Abraham. This guy, he got everything wrong. So you want to be, with my respect to you, you want to be foolish and believe that foolish is the last name of Abraham? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? This is foolish. <laughs> I'm glad that you are laughing. So my friend, I invite you right now to denounce the devil and to leave Islam and to say that Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God. What do you mean say now? <laughs> Sorry? You mean say now or something? Yeah, why you don't say that? I mean, already you are laughing. I just heard you. It's uh, <laughs> You just said it. this is foolish already. I agreed. So why you don't say that Muhammad is a false prophet? Say it. Yeah. No, I can't say that. You cannot? No, there's a thousand people watching. <laughs> so uh, are you saying you will not say that because you are scared because 1,000 people watching? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to go away and think about all this. Hmm. So what? What I hear from you, I understand. I'm not going to force you to say it, but you are saying because there's one thousand people watching, you don't say it. But if you are talking to me in private, you will say it. Correct? After I've gone away and you know talked about this with other people and see what they said. Okay, you want to talk to me in private after we finish, or maybe tomorrow, so you can say that sure. to me, and I promise you, I will not record it. Yep, sure. All right, that's wonderful. Well, my friend, you just said that already. You just agreed that Muhammad is a false prophet. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> that's wonderful. Okay, my friend, I have a Muslim want to call me, so I, I will, I will, I will drop your phone so we can hear him. I apologize. Okay. All right. Hello. Yeah, hello. Hey, Muhammad Hassan, how are you? Hello. Yes, Muhammad, how are you? Uh, we are trying to mislead people, eh? I'm trying to mislead him. Well, here we go. He is he, he proved to me that I mislead him. Okay, go show me how Muhammad he called the father of Abraham Azar. What Azar is? Azar was the father of Abraham. But Azar is a word mean in, in Aramaic mean fool. His his uh, the name of honest, the I, the name of the I father of Abraham is fool. You must be a fool to believe in that. Uh, for argument's sake, yeah. have you ever heard of somebody his his name is fool? His father and would call him the, fool. And, and you share the Arabic. Meaning you can go and search word. it. You can ask anyone who speaks Aramaic. Go to go right now to Sam Shamun and ask him. He's an Aramaic person. He speaks Aramaic. This is his language. As a, you know, I'm not a Muslim. 
It doesn't matter, but this is not the word. This is not the name. You know, this is the name of the father of Abraham. You can go to the Old Testament and search the name of the father of Abraham, and you so will see what's that your point? So what's your my point? point is your prophet he got it wrong. He got it wrong. This is first not the name of the father of Abraham. And As there is, is nothing to us. So what's your point? No, it is, it is it is to us. It is it is to us. <laughs> it is to us. Let me tell you what. No, Azar was worshiping idols. He died as, as not a Muslim. He wasn't a Muslim. So what's your point? My, my friend, foolish. I will I will tell you what the point. The point is, as long your God Allah, He put it in the Quran, that's mean He is telling us an information, and this information should be accurate. So why it's not accurate? What do you mean? Because the name it has a bad it has a negative connotation, so that means our, our God is, is not is not nice. No, so that's what, no, it's not about this. Not about nice. The name of the father of Abraham is Terah. You can go to Genesis. Maybe, maybe he was known as a foolish because he used to worship idols. No, 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 no. You see, a second ago you told me this is the name of the father of, of Abraham. Oh, no, a second that's ago, what I said. No, he no, no, used no, no, to no. Worship idols. It's a fact. No problem. No, no problem. No problem. But why are you Muslims and why are you a prophet? He did not say to you. If this He's is the word, listen, listen, okay, okay. Idols. If the word is foolish, then your prophet should say in Arabic foolish. He's Correct? A foolish. He worshiped my friend, he my friend, if if your prophet understand that the word Azar here stands for foolish, he should Arabic word, should use Arabic word and say foolish. Why is using the word Azar and why you Muslim? You thought this is the name of the father of Abraham. Uh, maybe that name suits better for him. It suits the name. Suits friend, better he is him. not even calling him a name. He is saying to him that this act is foolish. It's not. There's no way a prophet of God he will call his father that your name is foolish. He is saying to him that worshiping idols is foolish, and you're a prophet because he is copying others from the Aramaic language. They said that that Adam he said as Abraham he said to his father that this is foolish. So Muhammad he thought this is the name of his father. And until now, you Muslim don't translate the word because you believe, as you said to me when you called me, that are you Azar, scholar of Jewish to know that meaning? My friend, this is not even a Jewish. This is not even a Jewish. This is Aramaic. No. What was the uh, Azar? <laughs> uh, saying, so Azar, you're saying Azar has my friend, my friend, my friend, my, my friend, my friend. I don't understand your point. Please, my point is simple. The name of the the name of the father of Abraham is not Azar. Who so you're saying then who is Aramaic. Azar? Explain to me. Here we go. I'm listening to you. Based in so your you are religion, it's a, you are saying it's a wrong information. The name it was absolutely. Is, it's not only wrong information; it's a fabrication. Because if Muhammad is a prophet of God, he should not quote the name of the father of Abraham wrong. Don't you agree? I don't know Jewish, so I cannot comment. How do you? How this do, is not how about you Jewish. If you go, if you go right now to the book of Genesis, chapter number eleven, you will see. No, he wasn't Jewish. Sorry, sorry. He was from Quraysh. Doesn't matter. But doesn't matter. But there's other names exist long before Islam, and there's no reason for them to fabricate the name. They confirm that there is no such a name of Abraham's father as Azar. This is a lie. So you are saying the uh, Aramaic, his, his name is Azar. He's What's Aramaic. His Abraham is an Aramaic man. He's, he's born in Iraq. He's born in, you know, in, a, in, in a certain area in Iraq where people, they speak Aramaic. Yes. So, so, so here, Muhammad, because he is copying from the book of Waraqam the Nofal, and in the book of Waraqam the Nofal, it says that Abraham, he said to his father, Azar, Muhammad, he thought, Azar is the name of the prophet father. Uh, Muhammad didn't get information from only from that person. He got from Angel Jibreel. Okay. Revelation. Then, then how how the God and Jibreel they are giving him wrong information? That's the correct name if it's called like that. And prove me wrong. How? No, this it's, is the correct... it's saying in the Quran. Quran is my criteria. Ah, the Quran is my criteria. Okay, I like yes, your criteria. I it. I said okay, I, I did not okay. You see, I hang up on the guy who was going, who, who left Islam to speak to you. Let me call him back. Uh, can you call me back, please? The the person who uh, who. Uh, let me see. Is that you? Can you call me back? The person who was, he he, he denied Muhammad already. Because you know, I apologize. Really, I hang up on you because I thought this guy he have something serious to say. Uh, yeah, you can call, no problem. You are not in my list, so I have to add you. I cannot find you.
Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, hello, Christian Prince. I called you yesterday. Oh, uh, you are a different okay. person. Not the same person was calling me uh, a second ago, right? Different person. Uh, I sh yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you a Muslim? No. 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 All right. Okay. So uh, I just wanted to ask. Like, just hold on, hold on, please, hold on, hold on, because I told this guy to call me. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, first, before we start the argument. Uh, are you a Muslim, my friend? Mention Salat just you, for the sake of. Are you a Muslim? Are you, a, are you a Muslim, my friend? Uh, you can say so. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Just for the sake of language, forgot Islam or whatever. You know, in Arabic, that one word. Mm. could have up to 75 meanings like honey right mm. we know that i'm listening so one of the three meanings of salat mm. i don't know why he got it wrong but it's rahma which is uh, mercy the second word is dawa rahma is uh, uh, salami rahma also it can mean because you're making salah uh, sila it comes from the word sila connection mm. so you're making a rahma with god even mm. even christians believe that so just even christians language, believe in like that. that oh okay okay that, that's the language we can't change the language you know what i mean mm. Mm. But it doesn't matter and you know in arabic there's like i don't know if you know al arab mm. i'm not i'm not an expert but you know what i have like we studied this at university so i have a bit of information about arabic in general mm. so you know you have the file mm. and the file and if the file which is the pronoun in english mm. you could have two uh, two pronouns two fa uh, two pronouns hmm. with one verb, but the one verb in Arabic could have two meanings. So when we say in Allah, hmm. which means God or Allah and uh, the hmm. angels pray for the Prophet or upon the Prophet to be more accurate, it's not on, it's upon the Prophet. Hmm. It's we're saying that God gives mercy to okay. the Prophet and the Malaika makes dawah, it means they. Make a prayer, like how do I say, uh, hmm. God bless you, or whatever, you know? Okay. That's it. And when we, or humans in general, pray for the Prophet, okay. they don't pray for him because he's God or whatever. We pray for him because we, we're asking for forgiveness, which is an istighfar from okay. God, because we believe that he's a, he's a, he, he came as a mercy for humans. That's what. All right, my friend. I heard you. Now let us go step by step. In Allah, Here in the in the sentence, based on your understanding, what you saluna mean? You saluna here has two meanings: dua, hmm. which is for the angels, and uh, hmm. giving mercy, which is from God. And you know, we, okay, we hold on, hold on, mercy hold on. from Allah, from Jesus. Oh, okay, how, how the same? How the one word? How how you de how you decide that? The word you saloon, it's the same word, not repeated twice, and suddenly mm. you give it two meanings in the same time. Because that's Arabic, because that's what you know that one pronoun could have two meanings in the same verb. That's that's Arabic. We won't change uh, the language. No, 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 my friend, no, my friend, no, my friend, no, my friend, no, my friend. The second you say you saloon, yeah, it's it have to be mean one thing because both of them they are doing the same. Malaika is doing the same, the angels and Allah are doing the same act. This is why. Because if if the Quran wanted to say that this is meant something and that means something, then should not say yusallun. It says in Allah yusalli wa malaikatahu yusallun. That would make more sense according to your understanding because it's two action but two meaning. But here it's one action with one word. Both of them they are doing the same action, Allah and the angels. So we have to give them a one action. You have to choose either you say pray on, or pray for Muhammad hijab. He said to pray for. Do you agree with him? I would say it's pray upon to be more accurate. Okay, so you agree that Allah He pray upon Muhammad. Yes. Okay, guys, did you hear it? Allah He pray upon Muhammad. That's mean Allah He pray. He pray to who? Pray in Arabic, which means yusallun, and the word yusallun means giving mercy. And you know that that's that's in Arabic. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let us go with you. If Allah is giving mercy, who need the angels? What the angels would do? The angels were making dua. To do to, to, to what? Do I, what do I mean? Explain to us in English, please. Uh, I don't know what's dua in English. To be honest, I don't know what's asking Allah for mercy. Possible, like making dua. Okay, for thank the you, guys. Listen carefully. This gentleman he said that Allah is going to send mercy on Muhammad. Yeah. All right. I agree with that. All right. Hold on. Let me change to uh, to English. Allah 
is sending mercy, pay. mercy on Muhammad, on Muhammad. Okay. That's Arabic. And then the angel, and the angels, ask for mercy. Is that correct? You agree with that? Uh, they make dua. You can say yeah. You can say that okay. for Muhammad. That's wonderful. Look what happened now, my friend, by what you said. You are the one who said that, not me. Yeah. If Allah already gave mercy to Muhammad, who need the angels to ask for mercy? What do you mean by that? Well, if, if Allah uh, if Allah gave mercy already to Muhammad, it's like saying to me, you know, I, uh, uh, Allah, he, he make Muhammad won the lotto, and the angels asking Allah to make Muhammad to win the lotto, but Allah already okay. gave him the lotto. Let me ask you something. Do you go to the church every Sunday? Do you pray? Don't change my question, my friend. No, 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 no. I'm just it's, it's no, no. the same question. Do no, you no, pray? no, no. Listen, Allah, He gave already mercy on Muhammad. True. And you said that. So, what True. is the benefit and why the angels need to ask Allah to give Muhammad mercy? Let me answer. I'm asking you, do you pray? If yes or no? I pray. No problem. Do you pray more than once per week? Or at least more than once. I pray month. every time I eat. I pray every yeah. time before yeah. I eat. After I finish, I say, but short prayer, I say, thank you, Lord, for the food you gave us. May the Lord bless us, and we are very thankful. So this is a short prayer. What does this have to do with our topic now? Yeah, and why are you, why do you always ask him? Just ask him once per your life. Because because God did not did not say to me, hey, Christian Prince, you are blessed. That's it. If God blessed me, is God blessed me? There's no need for somebody else to ask God to bless me. I'm blessed already. You see, it's not it's not the same person praying. It is the angels. It's not Muhammad praying. It is the angels asking Allah to send mercy on Muhammad. It's not Muhammad praying every day to Allah, and that will make sense. It is he. He gave mercy already. He grant Muhammad mercy. Mm. And if God, he grant me mercy, who need the angels? What the angels can do? What extra the angels can do? And you are the one who saying you said that here the angels are asking Allah to send mercy to Muhammad, but Allah, he sent mercy already. No, no, I agree with that. No, I completely agree with okay. that. Okay, so if Allah, he sent mercy already, then what the angels will do? What the angels can do more than what Allah did already? If I yeah, am blessed by I agree, God... I agree with that. Okay. No, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Okay, so this is this is false, inter false interpretation, my friend. But no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not an expert, I told you. I'm just giving my opinion about no this, problem. but it doesn't matter. No problem. And friend. by the way, about Azar, isn't there like... Um, doesn't Azar mean fire in the Iranian? And there are the, like, a group I, I, of people. I am I am not expert with the uh, with the Iranian, but uh, obviously, this is a false name. I think it name. means fire, and there's like a group. But this, that is, not, but this is not Iranian, my friend. Uh, Abraham is not Iranian. You know, he is. I know, I know, no, no, no. Yeah. Like in Arabic and uh, Iranian, Persian. Sorry, I, not, I don't speak so, Persian. Sorry. Yeah. Me neither. Me neither. I just yeah. thought. But anyway, no. I'm I'm glad that you agree with me. That obviously, even the word to say blessing and asking for blessing, this is just a fabrication. Some they try to cover the problem here. Trying to find a solution, but if you go deep, you will find that doesn't make sense. If God grant me success, success, I am I succeed. That's it. You know, the Bible says that if God is with me, who could be against me? You know, that's sure. it. The God is with me. So if God granted Muhammad mercy, as okay. you say, then Muhammad do not need uh, who who am I to pray to God? What what I will add more? That's it. The guy he is granted mercy by God. Who am I? You know what what that what yeah, that yeah. what that will add? Oh, yeah, I agree, I agree. Okay. Completely. Anything else, my friend? You want to say? Uh, can you go to Surah Al Ikhlas one second? What do you want? What what uh, chapter? No, I just want you to see and you, if you think it's the criteria are good for a God or not. Do you agree with the criteria as a God? What what the verse you want? Which one? Al Ikhlas chapter one hundred twelve. Yeah. Okay, 112. And I'm just asking now, like, as for Jesus, to be more clear. All right. You believe that Jesus was God, right? Who believe? You. I don't believe he was, he is. He, he is God. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look like. Okay. You know Surat al ikhlas right? You know. Yeah, it. what about it? Do you agree that a god should have these criteria at least to be a god? Well, this criteria is funny. Let me show you why. He's not born, he's not I don't think it's funny. He's just No, I will, I, will, I will show you it's funny. I will show you it's funny. Hold on. You ask me, let me explain to you, my friend. And you all will come. You sound like a smart person. I like that. Chapter 112 verse number 1, 2, etc. If we go and you speak Arabic, correct? So yes. we will not have difficulty. Okay. 
when in Arabic when you say ahad, in Arabic there's nothing is called ahad as one. Ahad is one of. Do you agree? Ahadu tulab, ahadu al-athasatiza, ahadu al-malaika. Exactly with a dhamma, but ahad with a sukun is ahad. Ahadu ahad. My friend, I will show you. I will show you that always ahad appear. There is nothing is called sukun. There's nothing is called dhamma. No. But let, but, but let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but just let, let me say something. You know that the Arabic grammar came mm. from the Quran. So See? if you say that the Quran grammar is Thank wrong, you very so much. The, the Arabic grammar, grammar came from the Quran. So the Muslim, they tried to make the grammar fit with the Quran. But the fact the Arabic is exists before the Quran. True, but like it was the highest. Thank you very much. Like so no, grammar. it's not for the highest. Of course but because, no, 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 no. The Quran is full of mistakes, my friend. And now you are trying to make a grammar fit with the mistake book. If you want to make a grammar, make it a grammar fit with the Arabic exist before the Quran. Arab before Islam, they were, were amazing in Arabic. You know that there is something called al muallaqat You know what al muallaqat right? Yeah. Okay. Arab people, they used to hang poetry and it contained thousands of, of a poet. And they don't even repeat the same sentence twice. The Quran keep repeating the same sentence because the, the one who is making the Quran is very weak in Arabic. I read with me carefully here. Do you know okay. what what do you know what a summit mean? Yeah, that's stable. What does summit mean? Stable? Uh, a summit, like uh, I don't know, explain it in English. Okay, let no me, have you ever have you ever heard of the word masmuda? Mm. Or summada, like the one who collect money. Sure. Yeah, spare okay. Money. Okay. This is what summit is. This is coming from the Aramaic language. This is an Aramaic word. Summada is you collecting things together, putting them together to make a whole thing. So a child, he summada the, the the money. It means he's collecting the money until the money became bigger, became something he can do something with it. So look what it says here. This is something Muhammad trying to copy the Jews. The Jews they have a very famous sentence that says, "Oh Israel, say that uh, uh, Israel." Your your God is echad echad. So this is from coming from echad, but echad in the Hebrew mean God as unity. This is why the Bible says that man and women they get married and they became echad, but they are two. You see, this is ahad. This is exactly Muhammad is copying the Jews, and then he said he made second mistake copying the Aramaic, saying Allahu Samad. He is the collective. He is a collective of things. He is not one. He is unity. No, 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 no. A summit let me continue. Let me continue. Statement. And let me continue. Let me continue. And yeah. then he says, and he said, "Lam yulad walam yulad." That is the most funny argument ever because the Christian don't believe that the Father gave birth to Jesus. But it's not talking about Christians. It's just saying in general. No, 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 no. He's answering the, the Christians. The, he's answering the Christians. Lam yulad walam yulad. Hey, Christians. Anyone believe that the Father he gave birth to a person? His name is Jesus. Anyone believe in that? Of you, who is a Christian here? Believe. That God the Father, He gave birth to the Son, His name is Jesus. We don't believe in that. So, and then He said, Well, I'm Yulad. So, as we are, if we're Christian, we believe that God is, is born. We don't believe in that. We don't believe in that. So, here you will, you will notice Muhammad is trying to make a verse, trying to make a Quran, trying to copy the Jews, where He said, using the word Echad, say that your Lord, O Israel, your Lord is Echad, your Lord is one. But one here is not about one person, it's about a unity because the same word is used many times in the Bible. It is about two joining marriage, still they are echad. Here, Allah as Samad, He is a collective. Let me ask you, you as a Muslim, you believe in something called Tawheed? Yes. Okay. No, there is no Tawheed in the Quran, I know, but we took right. the no, 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 that's not a question. That's not a question. But Tawheed, mm -hmm. the, when you say Tawheed, it means unification. Yes. Okay, how you, how you can unify one? He's a one already. How you can unify him? We don't, we don't say unify, it's just you know. No, no, know. the word Tawheed, the word Tawheed means unifying, correct? It comes from Al-Wahid. No, my friend, no. Tawheed, Tawheed, this is not about Al-Wahid. I'm talking about the word Tawheed itself. The second you say Tawheed, it means you are making a union. You can say, yeah, yeah. It has okay, a, so how you, can, how you can make union if he is one already? If it's one of its meaning. You, you in Arabic, that. in Arabic, and correct me please if I'm wrong. Do we yeah. see Tawheed al-Dual al-Arabiyya? Of course. Okay, Tawheed al-Dual al-Arabiyya, translate to me, please. The Union Arabic. Okay, Arabic. unification of the Arab states, correct? Unification. Okay, oh. Okay. thank you. So now Tawheed, it's not about one's oneness, it's about making a group united. So it cannot oh. be about one. So again, it's a wrong phrase Muslim they use about their religion. And let That's me ask, let one me, of the meanings. Let me, let me ask you, my friend. Yeah. Do you see in the verse it says, Qul huwa Allahu ahad? Oh. Okay, why what is the what is the benefit of huwa? 
he is. Okay, who is the one is talking? It's saying say that God is one. Okay. Kul, huwa, Allahu ahad. Okay, why I need to say huwa? Why not? What can I say? Say Allah is one. Why he's saying I say? I didn't, he. Write, I didn't write the Quran, so I don't know. <laughs> See, this is a mistake again. If you go in the Quran, if we copy the same word huwa. All over the Quran, you will see Allah keeps saying, It is He who created the earth and the heaven. It is He who created you. It is He. So who is the one who's talking? Another another mistake. The author of the Quran, he keep you know forgetting to switch between the first person and the second person. He it is He who created for you what is in ever in earth. Okay, well, who is talking? Allah. Okay, why Allah saying it is He if He is the one who's talking? I should say it is I, not it is he. So everything in this religion, it does not make sense. And the Muslims, I feel sorry for them. They try to fabricate meaning to make it fit with the order. And let me ask you, you are a very smart person and I like really enjoy, I'm enjoying talking to you. Thank you. Do, do if, if you are a person who created the earth and the heaven, I'm not saying that, that because this will be kufr, right? But let us say, if you are a person who, let us say, build a house, and yeah. I ask you which room you finished first, shouldn't you remember? Certainly. Okay. I want you to read with me carefully, please. I don't know what's your name, what I will call you, my friend. Whatever you want. Whatever I want. Okay, that's a nice name. <laughs> Mr. Whatever you want. <laughs> All right. In the Quran, <clears throat> Actually, let us start from this verse. Chapter 2, verse number 29. It is he who created for you whatever is an earth. And then he went to heaven. You know, as long as you speak Arabic, that will make things easier for me. Peace in this verse. Which one Allah finished first? Which one Allah finished a second? It's not mentioned, it's just, it's just said he created the, the no, earth says, and then he went back to, to the heaven. No, my friend, it says, فَسَوَّاهُنَّ سَبْعُ سَمَوَاتٍ ثُمَّ oh, right, yeah. When you say ثُمَّ, what ثُمَّ mean? You know Arabic very well. Then. ثُمَّ, it's mean after, right? Yeah, then. And actually in Arabic, in Arabic, if you go to ثُمَّ, ثُمَّ always present that there is a there is a distance of time, not only like, uh, 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 like uh, not uh, just after that, it's after that, in a, it took a while, okay. So it is he who created everything for you in the earth and then after that took a while and then he went to the heaven and the heaven he made seven sky. So it's confirmed here in this verse that Allah created everything in the earth first, correct? Sure. Okay, and then he made the earth, the, the, the seven heaven. Okay. If we go to the front verse on the Quran, you will find. <clears throat> This is why I like well, I like it when somebody speaks Arabic, but because that will make it a lot easier for me from somebody you know ignorant in the language. If we go to chapter 79, verse number 30, you will see it says, and by the way, you can choose any translation you want. Oh, I don't need translation. Okay, for us, absolutely. You don't know. Uh, if you open if you if you don't mind, open the Arabic from your side, you know. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, it doesn't matter as much. Yeah. Okay, then you will see here that uh, I have to show in English because people don't speak Ar Ar Arabic, so we have yeah, to do it in English. Okay. No, I understand. Okay, it says here, "Are you ye, ye harder to create, or the heaven that he built? He raised the height therefore and ordered it, and he made the dark night therefore, and he brought forth the morn, which means the light, the stars. Correct? Do you agree?" Yeah. Okay. And after that, he spread the earth, and he produced the water. Therefore, and then he made fast hell, and then he provided the provision for you for the cattle. But remember the verse that we showed you. It says that Allah He finished everything in the earth, and then He went to the heaven and He made them seven. Right? Was it before or after? No. It says in chapter two that Allah He uh -huh. made He finished everything in earth, and then He went to the sky and He made them seven skies. Okay. Okay, but here it says, and after that, what after that? After that, Allah He went to the earth. It's the opposite direction. Yeah. Allah cannot remember which one He started first with, the earth or the heaven. Do you see it? Yeah. 
if we go to different verse in the Quran, we are not done. The the the, 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 <laughs> the disaster is continuing. Let us see together. You know, the disaster continue. You know, this God, he cannot stop talking. I mean, I wish he can stop talking so the Muslim can have a break. But hmm, what we can do? If you go to chapter 41, please open the Quran from your side. It says, I will show it in Arabic and English so you can take an idea. In chapter 41, it says, Qul ayna, uh, 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 he's, he's speaking about creation of the earth. It says, خَلَقَ الْأَرْضَ فِي يَوْمَيْنِ وَتَجْعَلُونَ لَهُ أَنْدَادَ ذَلِكَ رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ وَجَعَلَ فِيهَا رَوَاسِي مِنْ فَوْقِهَا وَبَارَكَ فِيهَا وَقَدَّرَ فِيهَا أَقْوَاتَهَا فِي أَرْبَعَةِ أَيَامِ سَوَاءً لِلسَّائِرِينَ ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى إِلَى السَّمَاءِ وَهِيَ دُخَانٍ So that he finished all the earth and the sky was what? Was a smoke. Smoke. Okay. Actually, that's scientifically, that's true. To be, to no, my be my friend, this is not the question. The question is, I cannot even remember which one he finished first. No, no, just... no, let's take let's let's be fair. Like okay, I agree with you. Maybe there are mistakes. I don't know. But let's be fair. The the universe was smoky in the beginning. Science confirmed that. And my friend, my friend, remember, no, no, that the science remember. don't confirm that. The friend, the, the science don't confirm that. The, the, the science you are talking about, the Big Bang, there's no smoke. It was nothing and nothing explode, which I believe is stupid because how there was nothing and then nothing explode. That's will be funny. Same we'll time, in God, but like God was the causer of the nebula. No, no, no. You see, the, the Quran never say that. We can go that uh, if you want. We can let us finish this one, and we can go to that one to show you the Quran speak. Even the Quran the says in uh, Surah Al Anbiya, verse thirty, I think. No, my I'm friend, sure. you see, I never spoke to a Muslim. He have understanding of his book. With my respect to you, if we yeah. go right now, but let, can you finish this one first, just to yeah. confirm it? Okay. So, which one Allah here? He finished first. He finished the earth in two days, and then he made the mountains. And then he put aqwa to her. Aqwa to her mean whatever food, uh, substance, uh, trees, yeah, yeah, fruit. Course. Okay. And then after that was, the sky was a smoke still, which means there's nothing. And then in verse number twelve, it says he made them seven skies, in two days. And then was ayana sama al dunya bi masabih. Masabih is the is the stars, right? The stars. So yeah. the last thing here, according to Allah, created is the stars. Do you agree? True. Okay. But if you go to the other verse, it's the opposite. <laughs> Read carefully, my friend. This is chapter 2, verse 29. It says the opposite. And if we go to the other chapter, let us go here. It says, that Allah, let us see, He created, he, you know, He created the heaven and the earth. Verse number uh, the chapter 20, 41, verse number 27. Are you hard harder to create, or is the heaven a, a, he, that he built? He raised height, therefore order it, and he made dark and night, therefore he brought forth morn, and therefore, and after that he spread the earth. So Allah he finished totally the, the heaven, and then he went to the earth to finish it, correct? Is it clear? Yeah. But this yeah, is yeah. different from what he said in the other chapter. It is 100, so 100, 100, 100 what I degree. understood from this, it's like you want to make a cup of tea, for example. You don't you don't say just put water, tea, sugar, whatever. No, you, you tea, first hot water, you boil the water. Then you put the tea, then you put the sugar, then you mix, and then you have the tea done. I think that's what was the author of the Quran doing, whether it was God, Muhammad, I don't know. But this, let's be fair. Let's say the bad points and let's say the good points. From a good point, it's, it's kind of legit, but from... Was all over the place, but it was legit. What legit, my friend? You see, he's talking about the order of creation. Otherwise, he will not say. And after that, the second you say after that, you just told me what happened before, what happened after. It's not about making tea and coffee. We're talking about creation, the earth. So, how you say to me after I did this, I did that, and in that verse you say the opposite. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is a contradiction. Now we go to the to the one you will say to me. That uh, the Quran speak about the creation of the earth in a scientific way. Let us let us let us read together, and and you will laugh with me in, in five minutes. Yeah, sure. You will mention to me that the earth and the sky, the, the sky they used to be together, and Allah He uh, correct? Correct. Okay. Chapter twenty one, verse number thirty. My friend, you see the problem is since I was a kid, people they read with me the same sentence I read, but they don't see what I see. I don't know why. And you are today, you are doing the same. Chapter 21, verse number 30. Let us read together. And you can read in Arabic, in case you wish to read in Arabic. Don't the believers see that the heaven and the earth were joined together? And 
we love them asunder. That's mean there was earth, there was heaven, and we separated them. But that's True. false. That's not the that's big, the big bang. bang theory. Exactly. That's not the big that's bang. The big... No, my friend, no, no. The big bang there's not there was no heaven, there was no earth. <laughs> no, they didn't understand. Let's talk from a scientific perspective. Okay? My friend, my friend, <laughs> do the big bang believe there was earth? Can I say it? Can I, can Go, I explain? Ahead. Go ahead. And the big bang theory it says that it was a nebula, it was a particle. So the heaven and the earth were together, it was in a small entity. And then it's were separated, and then the heavens were created, and then the earth was created from the sun. It's a, I don't know, it's like too long to explain, but mm. they were in a nebula and in, in mm. a small particle mm. from a scientific perspective. Forgot mm. the Quran now. Mm. Okay. So the Quran is true in a way. No, my friend, let me let me tell you because here what he is talking about, Muhammad he claimed that the earth and the heaven they used to be attached together, and Allah he left the sky above. And this is why he said he is the one who left the sky above without columns that you can see. So he claimed that he left up the sky. The sky used to be on the on the ground, but this is false because until now we are not separated from the heaven. We are inside the space. We are just a piece of dust inside the space. Correct? True. We are stardust. Okay. Right. So what we how you can say we are separated when we are inside the thing? It's like saying to me, I separated you from the room, but I am in the middle of the room. A small dust in it this is this is funny same time what he's talking about here in order to understand anything you have to connect the dots together the Quran speak about that uh, 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 have you ever heard uh, uh, chapter cough um, yeah I heard, I heard okay chapter cough what cough is we don't know it's the letter cough that's what you know hmm. okay what is cough what is the letter cough the letter cough in Arabic is called cough, but cough is not a letter really. No? Qatar in the Quran, the, the, the letter, letter cough in the Quran is uh, a name of a mountain. If we go to chapter 50, verse number one, chapter 50, <clears throat> welcome to my school, my friend. In a look, look what happened in, the, in, in Islamic religion. I mean, how funny it is. Kaf, God knows best what he means by this letter. But this is not really what it is. Kaf is a story people before Aramaic and even Arab, they believe in a, in a, in a fiction story that there's a mountain, his name is Kaf, and he is surrounding the earth from every direction. Let us read together in different interpretation. Read carefully with me, please. This is Tafsir Ibn, uh, Ibn Abbas. Yeah. And from his narration and the authority of Ibn Abbas that he said, in the inspiration, Allah saying, Qaf. Qaf, he says, it is an azure mountain overlooking this world, and the color of the sky takes from it. Allah swear by it. Okay, now, here is science. How Allah, he separate the earth from the heaven. He put this mountain as a wall around the earth. And even they are explaining that the sky is a blue because this mountain is a blue. And this is why we don't see this mountain because it is blue. So like when you look in the horizon, you see a blue color. Uh, if you look up, the sky is a blue. If you look in the horizon, it's a blue too. But this is the mountain and this is why we cannot see because it's Which the same color of the sky. Chapter 50, verse number one. First time I hear about it, it's weird. Well, uh, this has happened always, but when I speak to people, they say to me, first time I heard about it. That's why you are talking to Christian Prince, my friend. <laughs> what, that's why I said, welcome to the school. <laughs> but but, but let's, let's be honest. Like We should have bad points or we should have good points. There are some scientific evidence inside the Quran. It my could friend, have not even a single scientific evidence. is the opposite. Let no, us do let this. My, my friend, let my friend. Okay, give me one. You remember, like... Two minutes ago, you read uh, that uh, the earth was created in two days. Hmm. And we know from the Quran that uh, hmm. the, the universe was created in six days, right? Hmm. If we come to science, hmm. when was uh, the whole universe created? Hmm. It was created around like 13.8 billion years ago. Hmm. And when was the universe, uh, the earth created? It was created around... 4.5 years ago mm. 4.5 billion years ago mm. but about the universe some people say 13 billion some people say 14 mm. so we'll take the average which is 
13.5 billion, right? Hmm. So if we divide 13.5 by my friend, 4. my friend, 5, my friend you can, you can, where do you get the billions from when we're talking about days? How you came to no, the wait, billions? Wait, wait, no, 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 wait. I'll, I'll get to my point. I'll get hmm. to my point. So 13.5 divided by 4.5 billion, we got 3 billion. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, sorry, we got uh, not how much exactly? Sorry, one second. So we got three. Yeah, I was right. We got three, right? Hmm. And if we divide, so we know that the Earth hmm. is three times younger than the universe, hmm. right? From a science. Hmm. And six divided by two because three. So the Earth is three times younger than the universe, according to the Quran, also. Hmm. My friend, so, uh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm very sad to make it disappointed because the Quran doesn't say the earth is created in two days. The Quran says in six days. Let me read for you. Open chapter 41. Yes, no, no. The earth, the earth, all of it is created in, four, in six days. Two days to create the earth alone and four days to create the substance. Chapter 41, verse number 9 and verse number 10. Read with me carefully, my friend. Your calculation sadly went in the wind. Say, is it that you deny him who created the earth in two days? All right, let us continue. And then he says, Then he said on earth, mountains standing firm, high above it, and bestowed the blessing on the earth, and measure therein all things given and measurement due to preparation of four days. Do you see it? So now you have to switch upside all your calculation because now that will, that will make it six days total of work of Allah just to do finish the earth. Correct? True. Hmm. Okay, this is the contradiction. The Quran says in different place that Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days. And here he continues saying that Allah, he created the heaven in two days, which means it took six days to finish the earth. It took two days to finish the, the sky. And this is will be funny because we cannot compare between the size of the earth and the size of the galaxies and the space, correct? Hmm. So why it took him six days to finish the earth, but it took him a lot longer, three times more. You know, I mean... It, Took him three times more to finish the earth from the finishing the sky. That's why I say to you, I'm sad for your calculation. Doesn't work, my friend. Same time, if you go to the hadith, you see, I always I like to uh, to bring Doctor Muhammad because he is the he is uh, he's a scientist. You know what I can do. You know, <laughs> Doctor Muhammad, peace upon him. He have a PhD in uh, he actually actually he was hired by National Geographic you know many time to teach them science and etc how the earth is created look what he said the the exalted the glorious created the clay on Saturday so according to Muhammad the first thing God created it was a clay it was Saturday not billions of years sadly I mean sorry to say that to you <laughs> it was what Saturday my friend where is, is the sahih? yeah this is sahih absolutely he created the clay on Saturday and he created the mountains on Sunday and he created the trees on uh, uh, sorry the, the mountains in Sunday the mount the trees in Monday and he created things in Thailand labor in Tuesday and he created the light in Wednesday and he caused the animals to spread in Thursday and he created Adam peace upon him in a Friday afternoon Asr do you see it yeah the total is how many days Oh, yeah, yeah I'm sorry. seven days seven yeah, yeah so look now what the numbers we have we have verse in the Quran says the earth created in six days we have verses in the Quran saying that Allah created everything in six days we have Muhammad saying that everything in the earth the earth alone the earth alone you know uh, 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 if we if we count those things here because he created the light in when in 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 Wednesday okay so it, it he worked only one day in heaven Based on this hadith, only one day, and he spent five is uh, six days working in earth. True, it's a madness, my friend. Well, my friend, thank you for calling me. I'm really happy to hear you. You can call me anytime you wish, and I don't know what to say to you. You have no name, so nice to meet you. No name, no, Noor. Noor. No, name. All right, my friend. So, Noor, you see, I don't know if you are you want to stay be a Muslim or not, but obviously, I can tell you are convinced that Islam is false. I'm I, I'm convinced more in science to be honest. With no you. problem, but uh, but uh, I would say I'm an agnostic. Be be honest with me. Do yeah, you no, really... I'm straight with you. I, I would say I'm agnostic. I'm not I, I, I no no. I, I don't tell me you are agnostic. So you are you you don't believe in Islam no more, don't you? 
I don't believe in God in general, not in... Okay. I believe, but like, you know, I'm okay. not sure. That's one. That's okay. No problem. I, mean, I say for me as a Christian, may the Lord guide you and bring you to the truth and the truth will set you free. Thank you for calling me, my friend. No problem, but just oh. last question. No, don't no, just think uh, that uh, please. Any... It's, okay. it's okay because we want to, you know, I'm, I'm really almost, I'm done. You know, I, I have, I have, uh, uh, I gave you enough time for how long we are talking, me and you. I, I wasn't, I wasn't like a quick call, right? I give you a lot of time, and if I everybody call me says one more question, more question, it's going to be endless, you know. So I have sadly, but you can call me always. I'm almost every day here, almost. All right. Okay. Feel free okay. to call me. Welcome in the in the welcome in the club. All right. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you, my brother, my friend, my, my you know, my salama. Awesome. All right. Well, this is a very nice conversation with this gentleman. He's a nice person. Let us take one more call. Hello. How are you doing, brother? I'm fine, my friend. I'm good. I'm very good. What would you like to say to us, my friend? Yeah, I would, I would like to ask you a couple of questions about Christianity. Well, you can give me a question because we are almost done. I have, I have only 15 minutes to go. So what is your question, my friend? Uh, my first question is, how many people are being called Jesus in the Bible? My friend, we don't follow Jesus because his name is Jesus. We follow. No, no, listen, I'm answering you. I'm answering you. You ask me, let me ask. Let me answer you. Either you want to answer yourself, then you answer the question, right? Okay. Uh, we don't go after a person because his name Jesus. We go after a person because of what he do. Jesus, he said himself, "From their fruits you shall know them." And when the Messiah he will come, how we will know him? We will know him from his glory. So the Messiah, when he was on earth, doesn't matter what the name you call him, because people, they call him many names. They call him Rabbi. They call him Master. They call him Lord. They call him God. They call him Emmanuel. All those names, they call him Prophet. All those names, they are just attribute to him for what he can do. So how we know who is Jesus, let us say there's 10 Jesus in the street next to each other. How we know which one? Jesus is the one who can resurrect people from the death. Jesus is the one who can make the blind see. Jesus, he is the one, not like your prophet, the angel, he said to him, read it three times, still he cannot make him read, and your God is the one talking. So this is how we know who is God, who is false. When Allah, he said to Muhammad, read, Muhammad, is, I cannot read. He squeezed him, read, he cannot read. Three times, if Jesus says to the donkey, read, trust me, the donkey will talk, and he will read. And this is how we know if God is God or not. So your God, he could not make even Muhammad read, even after squeezing him three times, trying to force him to read. But he was not successful. Why? Because he is a false God. You done? Okay. I asked you one specific question. The whole world... I answered you. Don't waste my time. You know, don't waste my time. We, we have no time for those silly questions. So what if there's many Jesus in the Bible? So what? I, I answered you. You don't like the answer, go. Hit your head with the wall and drink camel urine, my friend. We do not know Jesus by a name. We do not know even the Messiah by a name. Even your prophet, he said, there's a false Messiah will come. His name al Masih al-Dajjal. Correct, guys? Isn't it Muhammad? He said, there's a false Messiah. His name is al Masih al-Dajjal. Here we go. He's coming back and his name is al Masih. Should we follow him? Muhammad, he said, no, don't follow him. And not only that, Muhammad, he is so confused. He think that the Messiah look like Allah. Look what he said. Uh, uh, Antios, Ant my friend, my friend, don't call me now, please. Don't call me. Hold on. Give me a second. I know I hang up on you, the one who is calling me now, but I will, I will take maybe your call tomorrow. L listen carefully, guys. Even the even Muhammad, he describing the Antichrist and Masih al-Dajjal, the false Messiah. He described his look and he is he's worry that the Muslims they will think that he is Allah. Why? Because the false Messiah, obviously, he looked like Allah. He is short, he's fat, he have all the description of Allah to the point. Don't call me kid, you can call me tomorrow. We are done for today. Muhammad is confused and he is worried that his followers, they will believe that Allah is the Antichrist, the false Messiah. Why? Because you are a truly, truly a kid. Seriously, you are a kid. Literally, you are Aisha.
<laughs> literally, literally, you are Aisha. Listen carefully. This is the proof that Muhammad is a mad man. He cannot be stable. Muhammad is afraid. I am afraid that you may not understand. Okay, what then? What what the Abdul will not understand? Muhammad explain. Abdul, they have a problem. Muhammad is worried. He is afraid that he won't understand that the Antichrist is short. Please take a note. There's a guy. He is the false Messiah. He will come to us in his short, and he is hinted. He is woolly haired. He's he have a curly hair. He is one he, and he his one eye sightless, neither protruding nor deep seated. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one eyed. <laughs> how many Allah we have in the Quran? You are asking me about how many Jesus? Why you Muslims will think that Allah is deep seated or he is short and he is a curly hair? Why Muhammad is afraid that you are going to be confused and you might think that the Messiah, which is the false Messiah, is Allah if Allah is not a man? How many Jesus in the Bible? How many Jesus in the Bible? Abdul, the one who called me about how many Jesus in the Bible, tomorrow we will be here again. Call me, and I challenge you to call again. But you call me, almost we are done. Guys, did we have a good time together? Did we have a good time to, today? Don't forget, please, to subscribe, invite your friends. And feel free to download my videos and I challenge the Muslims to download my videos if you are asking me questions it's embarrassing I want you to put my videos in your channel you see we don't we don't do what the Muslims do the Muslims if we take their videos and we use it they flag us Muhammad hijab is busy flagging people who they are posting his debate because he did poopoo -poo, a lot of poopoo -poo like he's a prophet now if you are proud about your debate while you are flagging people who they are posting it or reposting it. Hmm? The expert in Arabic and the expert in Hebrew. What a bunch of flyers. How many Muslims they called us guys? Have you ever seen any Muslim he have an answer for anything we said? Have you ever seen any Muslim he can refute us in anything we said? You never saw and you will never see. Not because they are talking to Christian prince, but because the truth will set you free. That is the Lord's words and no words above his word. He is the Alpha, he is the Omega, he is the truth. He said, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, I am the truth, I am the resurrection. I am who I am. And yet they say to us where Jesus says, I am God or not. They say to us like this guy, he's saying, how many Jesus in the Bible there is? Who care how many Jesus? There is only one Jesus we follow. In your stupid book, my friend, in your stupid book, there's a stories about a guy, his name is Aaron. Do you know, guys, how many people they went in his funeral? According to Muhammad, when Aaron, the brother of Moses, says he die, he have a funeral. Anyone knows how many people they went in his funeral? Who knows? Let us see if any of you remember. How many of you remember? 70. I will give you the most accurate number. 40,000 people, they went in the funeral. But the problem is not here. The problem is that 40,000 who went in his funeral, all their names are Aaron. <laughs> 40,000 guy in my funeral, all of, their, all of them, their name is a Christian prince. And you are asking me how many Jesus in the Bible? Who is the donkey will believe in such a garbage that the guy, his name is Aaron, he's a prophet of God, he died, and the one who went in his, gen in, in his funeral, all of them, their name is Aaron. So Musa was not there. His brothers, his sisters, his, his family, they are not there. Everybody there, his name is Aaron. And you are asking me how many Jesus in the Bible? My friend, two camel urine will make you drunk.
Uh, and by the way, I was in the funeral of Aaron, and this is true. I was with the CNN fake news. <laughs> 40,000 Aaron in one funeral, and you must not believe in this garbage? Oh, boy. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy. Thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. And this is a Christian prince was with you for a couple of hours. I will try my best to be there tomorrow uh, if my voice is doing good. I'm talking too much these days. But really, I love, I love saving people from this cult. And as you see, it's working very good. I'm receiving a lot of messages from people. They want to leave Islam. People already left Islam. It is amazing and so beautiful. God is good, my friend. And God don't leave himself without witnesses. God, he use us. And by the way, I don't claim to be a priest. I'm not a priest. I don't claim even to be not a sinner. I am a sinner. May the Lord forgive me. No one is good save God that what the Lord he said God only is good I don't speak of the good of me I speak of the good of God we have no trust of a man every man is a corrupt every man is a sinner every man is nothing but God is the only one true name which you can trust don't ever put your trust in a man don't ever put your trust in a name except the name of God and that is Jesus the Christ we don't believe in a name but we believe in a God. We are not a bunch of donkeys. We follow a person because of his name. We follow God for he is. From his fruit, you will know him. From our fruits, you will know us. From our fruit, he will know us. The tree who will not give fruit is going to be cut off and thrown in hell fire. And that is your prophet. See you soon again. And don't forget to subscribe. Christ is Lord. Islam is false, and God bless you. Take care, my friend.